Mimi. <clears throat> hey. Mimi, are you there? Hello? Hello. Hello. Can the people hear us? I certainly uh, hope so. I hope so too, Brains. Let's let's scooch closer so we can see the chat. Downright downright close. Um wow. Already. Liquid Snappy, five dollars. A credit card, Mr. Brent Z. How do you Mimi, you're you're a you're a nostalgia critic expert. How do you feel about the bat credit card? Well, first of all, I just want to say hi. I'm your nostalgia chick. I remember it because the dudes don't. Uh, and um, I don't know. I mean, the the back credit card. It was. I mean, early on, you know. I mean, it was it was one of those things that kind of became a meme where like people would shout it to him at conventions and stuff, and he'd have to yeah. respond every time. But he seemed to be having fun, so I'm having fun along with him. Well, there we go. There we go. Because, like, how did you get into uh, the Nostalgia Critic and, like, that guy with the glasses? Because, uh, admittedly, you're a pretty big fan. Oh, yeah, well, um, I got into him a long t really kind of when I first really started using uh, a lot of um, YouTube and I guess I guess mm -hmm. also I guess also, you know, by extension, other websites like Blip, that's kind of when I first got exposed to him because oh, I had sort Blip. of heard of him before, but that was about it. All right. On. I had heard I, the first, I think the first exposure I ever had to the Nostalgia Critic was actually, um, I may have mentioned this before, but I grew up with Flipnote Hitena back in the day and I saw some Flipnote one time where this guy used audio of the Nostalgia <laughs> Critic from the, uh, from the James and the Giant Peach review, the whole, the whole, um, the whole rhinos, they scare little boys, assassinating parents don't bring much joys. It's Randy, that whole bit. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, so, was, I'm so outmatched in this. <laughs> You're like a stan. <laughs> You're like a borderline stan for that guy with the glasses. I respect it, though. So, Mimi, I wanted to say this, and uh, chat, hopefully you guys will uh, help out with this. I wanted to get Mimi something really special. As a big fan of Doug Walker and of the Nostalgia Critic, I wanted to get Mimi a custom cameo. And uh, I'm, I was looking into it. It was like 80 bucks Canadian. So what I'm thinking is that if we get like 40 bucks, I will match the rest, and we will get Doug to say something really nice to Mimi. Something extremely nice and very funny. How how would you feel about that, Mimi? Well, golly, brains. It's like you know my heart of hearts. I do. I do know your heart of hearts. You want to hear the internet nothing man speak? Would make me, nothing, nothing would make me happier than to hear Doug Walker's angelic voice praising me as the most delightful PNG tuber he's ever seen. <laughs> I think we can make that happen. So we got, oh, they're pouring in already. All right, Vicky uh, Martini with $1. New style already, Miss Mimi? How's it going, Brains? Well, what do you think about that, Mimi? Um, well, the style relates to the subject matter we're talking about today. I don't know if you're a longtime Lindsay Ellis fan, but if you go back and watch her earliest videos, she used to have a specific outfit she would wear uh, as the nostalgia chick where she would wear like a <laughs> she would wear a bow tie and she would have the little twin tails and the and the glasses. Uh, she mm -hmm. doesn't do this anymore, obviously, no. but she back used when to, she was yeah. good, she did. Yeah, she used to be very hot, fond of uh, hot dogs, if I recall correctly. Um, as for as for myself, Vicky, I'm doing quite well. Very happy to be here. Uh, kind of excited. To, I never really got that into the nostalgia critic. Like I, I was saying to Mimi that like I watched a bit of Brad Jones and a bit of like Linkara, but I never got super into that guy with the glasses. Even though my friends like kept trying to get me into into when these I, videos. When I, when I when I watch people like Brains, like when I saw that stream where I think Brains and Depreston were reacting to a. Uh, to like a uh, epic rap battle clones and they were mm -hmm. watching twilight sparkle versus mr ed and they made a frying the coke reference they were like oh that's a nostalgia critic joke i'm such an expert that i immediately remembered the exact review that joke is from hey, uh, even though it's pretty old hey hold your horses i got more supers to read 
Look, you want that cameo, don't you? You just get piped down. Uh, Alan Sampson I with one dollar. want that cameo. <laughs> Alan Sampson with one dollar. Brains, would you rock the Trump dunks? Um, no. <laughs> no, I would not. Uh, and Redips, I think I pronounced it correctly this time, uh, with one dollar. Does your dad have the N-word passed by the virtue of having a black kid, i.e. you? Uh, he does not, but he has said it before. And I've checked my own father about that in the past. God, you can't say that. He's like, yes, I can't. I'm tapped in. I'm tapped in, son. Uh, it has happened. It has happened. Uh, I, I, uh, I almost got into a, a bit of a situation with my own father. But that's neither here nor there. How about we, uh, we watch some goddamn videos, Mimi? How do you, what do you think about that? I think that's a great idea, Brains. I do too. It's entirely, so. it's, it's entirely possible that about a week ago I sent you an extensive document full of various uh, Channel Awesome content, both obscure and well-known. Well, I, I don't recall that, but uh, anyway. <laughs> well, if I <laughs> no, did that, you might want to pull it up about now. I pulled, a, I pulled up a litany of videos from that very document, but yes, Mimi compiled an enormous collection of, of uh, videos and lore and it was it's a very expansive document it's uh, downright autistic if I'm being quite frank but well, that's why we love well, her. you know I figured I figured everybody always reacts to the anniversary trilogy and they always react to the wall I wanted to add in some stuff that uh, people don't react to as much yeah of course of course. Let me just uh, double check here if we're getting audio as well. I think we should. Mimi, can you see the screen okay? Uh, yeah, I can see the screen. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So we got our boy oh, here. We're, we're, so this we're is starting off with this out of character classic. Video. We are. We are. Give us. You give us a bit Dad's of a rundown. Primary colored wall. Here. Give us a bit of a rundown. Actually, before you do. Uh, S.I.N. Scoundrel with $10. Here you go for the Doug Walker cameo. Do you think you could make him fit in the line, build that wall? <laughs> oh, God, he's probably gotten that somebody, so many somebody times. Else, somebody else already paid him on cameo to do that. Yeah, you can't slip that by Mimi. She's like the Doug Walker guard dog. But yeah, give us a rundown on why this is a, a significant video. Well, it's a significant video because a long time ago, Doug Walker did this kind of cringy, hard to watch video called uh, Nostalgia Critics Top 11 Hottest Animated Women. And people make fun of this video. And if you watch, um, I love the Dylan the Night Owl, that guy with the glasses retrospectives. But in those, he makes fun of that video as if it's like Doug being sincere, when really a lot of it was just him trying to represent the everyman uh, and not his actual feelings. Whereas this is the true, candid, out of character video where he talks about his actual top 10 hottest animated women. Dog. He throws his hat in the ring with the likes of Guptil, uh, Ben the Looney, uh, Sonic Sega Gamer, a lot of these other people we've watched. He throws his hat in the ring right here. Uh, a pillar amongst, uh, you know, standing on the shoulders of giants there, <laughs> Mimi. Hopefully Doug measures up. All right. Hello, uh, my no, children. No, no. Doug oh. is the giant. They're all standing on his shoulders. Can you stop yapping? <laughs> One of the questions I get asked surprisingly often is that sometimes people come up to me and they'll say, uh, hey, in the top 11 hottest anime women, you know, really? The Linka's up there? That's one of your favorites? And blah, blah, blah. What people have to understand when I do the Nostalgia Critic, especially now that I'm coming back, is that Nostalgia Critic, yeah, he's a character, and yeah, there's a lot of my opinion in there, but a lot of the times, especially for the top 11 list, uh, I try to get sort of the mass opinion for the most part, which I'm not always good at. You know, it's sort of a mix of mass opinion and my opinion. Uh, Vicky with $1, most likely the stream isn't for me. See you guys later. Well, thanks for popping in at the very least, Vicky. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Nostalgia Critic is a uh, acquired taste, so if you were expecting me to make fun of someone like the Sega Sonic Gamer this stream, that ain't happening. That's happening next stream. Essentially. Uh, but with that said, a lot of people keep coming up to me, and they keep talking about the top 11, like, hottest anime women and stuff, and they're just like, oh, that's mine too, it's mine too, and the truth is... Oh, people are gonna get you this cameo so fast. 
Uh, Baneblade with 300 Icelandic kroner. Mimi, are you going to do the Lindsay Ellis rape rap? Um, no, because Lindsay Ellis herself didn't perform that. It was, uh, what was the character's name? It was, wasn't it like Ryan the Convicted yeah. Rapist or yeah. something like that? It yeah. wasn't Nostalgia Chick who, who did it. It was a character in the video, in the sketch. So, no, I'm not performing that. Oh, and uh, Alan Sampson uh, donated Brain, as well. Brains can perform it if he wants, since he's the experienced uh, rap artist here. The, we... Uh, we prefer to be called rapists, Mimi. Thank you. And uh Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Uh where'd that Alan Sampson one go? God, you guys are you're getting this cameo, girl. You're getting it. Um Hooray! there we go. Alan Sampson with five dollars. Can Mimi as Rouge the Bat give a brief eulogy to the Sonic Sega Gamers channels? Can you can you give us a bit of your vocal stylings there, Mimi? Goodbye, sweet prince. Beautiful. Do you have any? Do you have any... Mi I'll, mi I'll, mi I'll miss you for years to come. <laughs> Rouge, do you have Thankfully. any? <laughs> Are you doing this on purpose or do we have latency? Do I have, do I have any what? Do you, do you have any fond memories of the Sonic Sega gamer you'd like to share? Oh, I have all kinds of fond memories, like, um, shortly after I made that very special message to him via your despicably mean channel, mm. um, he and I, we cuddled all night, and he confessed to me in a very candid moment that even though you're a bully, he loves your channel very dearly. Oh, that's honestly, that's very sobering to hear. He, espe he, he especially loves all the videos where Ms. Mimi appears as a guest star. He feels that she's a shining beacon of hope in a sea of shit. Ah, oh, yeah, fake fan. Uh, <laughs> perfect Bill Fahad Towered with 199. Hello, Brian Z and alternate timeline Zuki. Hello, Zuki. That's you. Hi, Zuki Wookie. <laughs> Ah, oh, you you done their head. Way, I, yes. I want to give you a little. I want to give you a little uh, hint about this video. Uh, oh if Christ! You wanna know who's <laughs> if you want to know who's gonna appear on Doug's list, uh, I oh, well, a, watch the video. The wall behind, there's a hint on the wall behind him. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh man, I'm never doing this with you again. <laughs> a lot of those aren't mine. Uh, I was sort of going for you know like the mass opinion there. Uh, like, I won't even put Jessica Rabbit up there, honestly. I, she can't exist. <laughs> I don't know. She looks a little too weird to me. Um, so, so, true, so true. I thought maybe it'd be kind of cool, if anything, just to show the difference between uh, Nostalgia Critic and myself, uh, what my favorite top 11 hottest animated women are. And at first I was sort of like, even when I started the list, I was saying, yeah, this is a little odd, um, because these women are not real and they don't exist. But at the same time, I think there's something to be said. Of Mimi, there's a really important question in chat. Um, Abracious Productions asks, do you make ASMRs, Mimi? Um, I have made some ASMRs in the past, yeah. I, I, I didn't have a very good microphone for it, though, but I do now. Yeah, is that, is that on the I table? Could probably, I, could pro I could probably make some better ones now. Yeah, it's on the table, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I heard it here, folks. About fiction and what we uh, value as beauty and what we want to see created and representing beauty, uh, whether it be the visual or the spiritual, the emotional, all that stuff. Uh, so I thought it'd just be fun to talk about. Um, so that's pretty much what this list is. Uh, right now, I'm going to tell you Doug's top 10 hottest anime women. So for clarification, see, Mimi, this see, is Doug Walker's. He... This is Doug Walker's uh, top ten, right? Com like no, mm -hmm. no shtick, not out of character. Yeah, no shtick. Um, as you can see, he's already approaching this in a pretty mature adult way compared to compared to a lot of these other other YouTubers you've seen who have made similar videos. Yeah, honestly, a real cut above, in my opinion. See these babes. Number 10. 
Jamika from Bebe's Kids. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fucking with me, yeah, dog. Were you, were you were you expecting that, Brains? I was not expecting Jamika from Bebe's Kids. No, I wasn't expecting that. I, I he's watched Bebe's Kids before, right? He did a review? He, oh, yeah, he, he's reviewed it before, yeah. Okay, hell yeah, hell yeah. He said, he, said that he, he said that the movie's not very good, but he liked it when he was a kid. The movie's great. This nigga... Crack ass. I know it's hard to say anything that good came out of this movie, and to be f This man is a pleb. Baby's Kids is a goddamn classic. If we didn't have Baby's Kids, we wouldn't have the fucking Proud Family. Are you kidding me? If we, cornball, if we cornball have... ass dude. What? If what? we didn't have Bebe's kids, we wouldn't have Jamika, number 10 on Nostalgia Critics top 10. I mean, Doug Walker's top 10 hottest women list. I'm going to put you through a fucking glass table to Fair, she's not like a very complex character. She's just sort of generally nice and has a nice design. But uh, with that said, she's generally nice and has a nice design. <laughs> I don't know why it is. There's just something about the way this character looks and the way she's She's just Nia Long. She's like designed just to look exactly like Nia Long. Uh, Shitcock McPee Boner with four ninety nine. Doug should. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Doug should dust off his music review skills and recreate vultures with a bunch of weird furry CGI creatures like the wall. Uh, those those creatures were created by uh, Fena, right? Is that yeah, the artist? Uh, Sam yeah, Fena, the, Sam Fena, the, the, yeah. The creator of Satellite City, and uh, he recently published his uh, book Amygdala. The, uh, his he he finally got his book with all his characters and lore published. This is uh, you can check that out. Satellite City is the one where they like abuse the fish all the time, right? Well, that's just that's the plot of a specific episode. It's oh, okay. not a thing throughout the series. It's it's the plot of a specific episode where Pinna created a. Cartoon fish who was meant to be a representation of like drug addiction or like a fake love or whatever. And in the episode, uh, Bob Stop. the fish is killed, and that's portrayed as a positive lesson. God damn it. Even though he acts like a mentally handicapped child and not or a pet or something and not like drugs. I'm about to. Damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> we will have to watch Satellite City at some point. Uh, Cat Warrior with $5. I caught Deadwing and Brains live at the same time. Nice. Well, yeah, yeah. Us Canadians, we're, we're synced, you know. Me and Klaus had our watches, I want you, man. I want, hey, listen, listen. What? I want you, if you what? love me. What? If you I'm, love reading me. I'm, I'm reading a super. I'm reading a super. I want you to go to, go to Deadwing's chat and yeah. tell everybody to come to this stream instead. Is he still streaming? I don't even think he's still streaming. Is oh, he? I thought he meant we were simultaneous. No, mistake. no, no. Deadwing was Deadwing was prior to us, and yeah, that would never work. That would never work. What a what a silly and asinine thing to say, Mimi. You know what? I'm gonna use that cameo money. I'm gonna get cameo from a wrestler I like instead. Okay, you're not gonna get to hear D Doug Walker's dulcet tones. I'm gonna get uh, Kurt Angle to say, "Hey, brains, looking cool, man." All right, I'm sick of it. Drawn, and there's just sort I'll of this kindness to her in this very angry, <laughs> rebellious world that they created in this movie. But at the same time, I think they sort of made it that she isn't just, I mean, she isn't totally bland. I mean, she does, you know, have her limits and she will get angry. They're egg made nostalgia slug? Oh, I gotta see that. Oh, god damn it. I didn't know Egg did that. So it's not like she's just the big cutie eyed nothing up here. I thought she was pretty likable, but I will say, again, it's mostly the design. <laughs> I think they just designed this woman to make her so pretty. I think she's such a a, a very nice looking design. And Oh man, I didn't know that that Doug, uh, Doug was so tapped in. Doug went on the other side of the tracks. I didn't know that Doug, uh, you know, um, how do I, how do I the, say this? Liked the, black women. I didn't know that. Well, there, there, yeah, there's, uh, there's more on this list later. Okay. There's at least one more, I remember. Ted Comment with the $5. I've seen what Doug's wife looks like. No wonder he likes cartoon women. <laughs> That's so mean, Ted. How mean, many, mean, mean, mean. How many furries on this list again? Um, Mimi, how many, how many fuzzy women are on this list? <laughs> well, um, there are no furries, but uh, there is a, uh, a monster girl on it oh. later. Oh, no. 
Oh no. I wish I could say more about her, but this this is sort of one of the more selfish ones where it just sort of comes down to the design and that she's generally just sort of likable. Um, so not one of my more complex ones, but she's a man. And Centric makes little Centric makes hiring number, number nine. nine. Annie Hughes from the Iron Giant. This was the mother in the Iron Giant, and Brad Bird just designs these great looking women. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. It's that they're not like traditional knockouts. They're not like women you'd see like, and oh yeah, I want that. They're just very traditional, oh, nice, new sub, pretty new sub. women. Thank and they you very just much. look so they have very kind faces and very expressive eyes. But he still gives them character too, and that's very much what I saw with this character, is that she was very much, she's this working mother and she gets exhausted and she gets... Doug is, fi Doug is trying to find every single way not to say she's a MILF. God damn, that mom's hot, holy shit. This man... He's, he's, not tr he's not trying to be funny, nostalgia critic man right now, he's trying to be sincere and earnest. There's nothing funny about a bitch being bad, that's a very serious matter. It's tired, but she's still trying her best to be a mother, and, and you know, she can't do her best, but, you know, and she can't even be home a lot of times with the kid, and that, that's really tough a lot of times to be like, ah! But, something about the way they made her character, you see that she's It'll really putting back, the Storm. effort in, and that It'll her and the back. son do have this, do have this very strong connection. I think, actually, he probably is at that age where he can... You know, he can be home alone, you know, fine. Another big part of that, honestly, and is Jennifer Aniston's voice. And Jennifer Aniston is one of those actresses, I think it's kind of like Anne Hathaway, where a lot of people sort of put their nose up at her and they say, oh, well, she's in shit, so, you know, she can't be good. I think she's very good. I agree she's in shit. <laughs> Lots of shit. But anytime she's in it, she's always good. And I didn't grow up with friends. Every time I saw the show, I thought it was terrible. Damn, people are, people really, really want you to, to see this shit. They really want Doug to say that you're pretty because these supers are coming in like crazy. I might have to start breaking it up, honestly, if, if you guys keep on Thanks, sending me me money. Uh, you're Moss making Room, the dream come true. Moss Room with one dollar. Hey, I sent I sent this in a super request or a super during the request stream. And I guess you forgot about it. I need chat to see this uh, and the link. OK, very sorry, Moss Room. I I was getting a lot of stuff during that stream so please forgive my my missing it before uh yeah i'm let's... sorry that brain screwed up yeah thanks mimi all right we got good quality smoke we got up to some good quality smoke here this is what gets me up every day right here i got up from a beautiful sleep beautiful dreams i like beautiful the channel dreams name. last night me too. And I wake up to this gorgeous, <laughs> this beautiful bud. I'm getting off smoking this granddaddy burp. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Starting my day off right. Yo, when the Kush make you Donald Duck, yo. I like his uh, toad from the 1993 Super Mario Brothers movie haircut. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm sure there are a lot of people in chat after that reference who have hearts in their eyes for you. <laughs> oh, beautiful dreams. Dreams are what everything's about. <laughs> what a lovely man. What a sweet little guy. <laughs> Why is he holding it? Why is he holding it like that? We're going to talk about dreams. And how important they are. <laughs> how important trees are. And how trees are linked to, to the dreams. There's actually a dream tree. It's called a dream time tree. A dream time tree. Oh, thank you, Moss Room. And and yeah, once again, very sorry, very sorry for missing that. My apologies. I feel so much wiser than I was one minute ago. As do I. Uh, and redips with one dollar. Very good day we're having, Brains and Mimi. I really hope a fat, disheveled man-child with an unhealthy obsession with Garfield and children's cartoons doesn't blow up Mimi's DMs right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good joke. That's a good joke. Mimi, let me, honestly, let me know, like, how... Uh, should we jump around this or is there any gold in here or is this like pretty straight ahead 
Oh, this is a pretty straightforward video. Um, I don't know if you want to get to like, uh, there's nothing like that funny about it exactly. Yeah. But it, except, I mean, I mentioned before. These actually there, seem there like pretty, a... like pretty reasonable choices here. Let's let's hear him talk about this <laughs> number. And Beauty and the Beast is his yeah, number we'll one talk, pick. Uh, we'll he's see his number he's one. He's also got Demona from Gargoyles on the list. That was a monster girl I was talking about. All right, let's let's hear him talk about Demona. I think uh, she does the voice for this character. She was from Star Trek Next Generation. She was uh, uh, Troy. And uh, I will say a lot of it does come from that voice. There's a very distinct... Holy fuck, uh, we're not getting through this video. Uh, Dr. Negus B. Wilden with $10. Mimi, help. I summoned the Mimi Tulpa to help with my taxes. Instead, all she does is call me a F-slur and eat my snacks. And I'm now out of cosmic brownies and I owe 10k to the IRS. What do I do? I think you're lying because no Tulpa of me would ever do such a thing. That's your own subconscious mixed with your image of me that's not me i'm i take no responsibility oh and i missed uh joey t raccoon with two dollars goodly draws is the hottest animated woman uh yeah that's very true it's very true goodly draws subscribe to goodly draws Isn't... but not too much because i got i got to beat him in the subs and mandela goodly with... draws is a f <laughs> goodly draws is a fine piece of man i put him right under doug in the hierarchy you are so good at cutting me off mid-sentence. I'm trying to speak as fast as I can. Sorry, you've complained in the past that I didn't talk enough, so I'm sorry. That's okay, Mimi. I'm very proud of you. I'm, and we're getting you that cameo. We're so goddamn close. Uh, Mandel with $5. Every time that Doug says, this woman has a great design, I imagine someone saying that IRL referring to a real person's quote-unquote design. <laughs> yeah, that's called being objectified. <laughs> <laughs> Doug does have a video about his top ten hottest live action women, but you know we already we all already know who his number one is, right? Yes, yes. Everybody, everybody who's watched enough Doug knows that it's Catherine Zeta Jones, so no, no real need to watch that video. Fair enough. Strong voice, uh, but at the same time, this is a very well put together character who again has this great strength but also this great tragedy has this unbelievable backstory i think they had to take like something like eight episodes to explain her backstory because it just spread out over years um and a lot of you might be thinking oh so you're into like what reptile gargoyles whatever and stuff like that no yeah, fuck that shit that is that. just yeah. a pretty yeah. woman with pointy ears it's a vulcan essentially and they just Oh, oh, the cope. The the sheer cope from this man. Painted or blue, that's it. I don't know if she's supposed to be scaly or whatever, but they don't animate her that way, so it's it's fine. Hey, you know what? She turns human. I remember in the show. This man, this man is just jumping through hoops right now. <laughs> oh, there's actually something happens where she can actually turn human half the time, so I'm just like, no, okay, that, that sold me. Um, but it's just a great... Oh, thanks so much, Moss. I just remember being so fascinated by that character, and it was a great turmoil going back and forth between who she was fighting for. Was she fighting for herself? Was she fighting for her love? Was she fighting for a cause? And, and what was her even her focus anymore? Even her focus of revenge served God muddled and stuff. It's just very complex. And, I mean, very much a Shakespearean character, in my opinion. Nothing more Shakespearean than falling asleep in the Gargussi. All right, let's hear what he has to say about Belle. We gotta, we gotta hear his number one. All right, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> He's so Belle. pure, though. This is now, this is great. really Nobody ironic because in the Nostalgia Greats Top 11, I said Belle didn't qualify because you had Ariel and Jasmine. They showed their belly buttons again. That's that's a Nostalgia Critic analysis. Me, I, I, I love Belle. I, I got that at Disney World from one of the uh, uh, Disney artists. <laughs> Man, I, I love how I love how Doug opens it up going like, okay, listen, you gooners who are into midriffs, I have taste. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, I, don't have, I don't have to coom. I, I want a real woman. He's not like he's not like Sonic Second Gamer. He's not like Ben Plooney. He's not like Guptill. He's he's got real he he's a man of class. He he has very pure tastes in animated women. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's nothing like Sega Sonic Gamer or Ben the Looney because he's named nothing but adults during this video. Just there, uh, <laughs> they they were drawn in. I got a conversation with him, and, and he gave me that. Bell, I always describe as like a female Jesus. <laughs> it's just everything that's perfect, everything that's kind, everything that's just when you hear the word beautiful, I just 
think of that person, I think of... Ah, oh, that's actually really tender. What a sweet guy. Uh, <laughs> what, a, what a sweetheart. That's actually a very beautiful sentiment. What a sweetheart. I, I, I can't believe... I can't believe all these people like Obscurus Lupa who doubt the kindness and tenderness of Doug. Yeah, no, that bitch stank. Uh, Alan Samson with one dollar. Would you like to see SSG go waifu for waifu with Doug? Oh, fucking dueling banjos, but it's waifus. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, Doug. Basically, Doug. I basically think that. Uh, basically. The drawing of her, I think of the personality. I think of how collected she is. I think of how calm she is. I think of how she just does her own shit and doesn't care what anyone thinks. But she doesn't shove it in her face. She's anyone's face. She's not looking for attention. It's Doug just, so well she's got that great voice, like that beautiful man. speaking voice, and that beautiful singing voice, and I guess people tell me, like, she was supposed to be a teenager, and that bullshit, that's, she's drawn and sounds like an adult, I, I, I take it she's an adult. Oh, Doug. <laughs> oh, Doug, no, Doug, Doug, put the gun down, Doug, no, don't do this, Doug. Uh, Dr. Negus would be wild, and with two dollars, if number one isn't Queen Elena, I'm canceling Doug again. Uh, respectful, triplets born, thrown away, Queen Elena, complete baddie, tamer stream eventually, uh, and Gribbeth with two dollars. This this list is vanilla as fuck. Slightly disappointed. Yeah, but you know you could you could see the passion. We just had to get to uh, he his did, top. He did put he did put he did put Rogue from the '90s X Men animated series on there. A lot of he made a lot of jokes about lusting after her in his nostalgia critic review of that show, and those were apparently sincere. Oh man. Well, I mean, you can't turn down the Southern Bell, but let's let's move on here, okay? We gotta. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is great. All right, this is this is a forgot this is a forgotten video. This is a forgotten Doug Walker sketch. Uh, give us give us some rundown on Ask That Guy. Stop talking so over that, me. Ask, ask Ask That Guy was a series that Doug Walker did where um where he would play this this like kind of classy but thinly veiled you know spiteful sinister man in a robe. Who would answer questions people would send in online? Mm. And he said he created it because of the popularity of Ask a Ninja. Because I think Mike Michaud or somebody said, "Hey, Ask a Ninja's popular. Do something like that." And he created Ask That Guy. And that series is somewhat remembered, but this specific video I don't think is technically an episode, and it's it's not so remembered. But it's it's got the character in it, and it's got Mati from Captain Planet, who was a big recurring part of of Nostalgia Critics uh, videos for a few years, but not since. Hell yeah, thank you. Uh, not after they killed him off. Dog, end your sentences, Mimi. <laughs> Using commas. Too good, but instead I had to get raped. <laughs> Kino, absolute Kino. Gun is funny, guys. Gun is funny. 
But, but instead I had to get raped. Him. Thank God I had this gun. Fuck him! And fuck you too, internet! You clicked on this link, you wanted to see this! I'm like 14! The fuck is wrong with you people? You need to get out of your house, you're so desensitized! To all this crap and pornography and all this bullshit that's on the internet! For God's sake! See, this is damn Monty, this is a very Monty yapping, this man. Is a, this is a very subversive video by Doug. He's judging the audience. He's doing a... He's doing a Doki Doki Literature Club fourth wall break where the character condemns the viewer. Well, I was going to say Schenectady, New York, but yeah, equal equal references. Bogrito Enthusiast with $2, no message. Thank you, Bogrito Enthusiast. Thanks, Doob. Thanks, Doobs. Let's go out and play some basketball or something. You want to play some basketball? Okay. Game? I think I'm finished. Your mother is a basketball. I'm going to rape. What the fuck did you just say about my mom, bitch? Yeah, no. That's what you want, isn't it? All your That's what you came here to see, huh? Uh, classic, classic brains meme dynamic. Did you just say something that I don't like? It was a reference to media. Somebody doing someone. <laughs> fuck! You crazy fucks! Mati spitting, guys. I'm going to rape him now. How do you look at him? He's raping him. <laughs> oh man, classic See, it's, it's performance. Funny. It's funny because he's a because he's a character from a from a from a kids show, but he's he's saying the f word and he's talking about rape. Yeah, that, yeah, it's, I, it's I like just, that. It's just like Honestly, that, I like it's that. It's just like that famous sketch where Doug had Pinky and the Brains voice actors swearing at each other. Oh man, nothing funnier than hearing the brain go, yeah, fuck you, pinky. Bitch ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Mandel with $2. Uh, can you set a 16 minute timer for my pizza bagels? Uh, uh, let, me, let me see what I can do, actually. Uh, yeah, how why don't you set a 16 minute timer for his pizza balls? Give me one second. Fifth. Let's uh, let's do fifteen minute timer. Fifteen minute timer. We'll check in on You're that. You're so okay? generous, brains. I know. I know. Love I your know. audience. I know. I Ooh, I care so much about that. these guys. What? That was ask that guy violates my tea. Nobody talks about this video. That's why I had to include it. I I appreciate it. I I really like the several rape jokes. Hey guys, don't. Oh. Oh, we, here, we'll we can't through. get into this yet. We gotta see him say some uh, yeah, funny yeah, words. That's a big, that's a, that's a big it's dinosaurs. So give us okay. a bit of context here. All right. So I was telling Brains about the uncensored Ernest Saves Christmas review because this is an old review by Nostalgia Critic. And it had two jokes in it that were controversial that he cut out of subsequent uploads. Like if you go to the channel Awesome upload, uh, he cuts these jokes out, but here I timestamp them for Leisure Suit Rant, Fe Rant Fiends upload. So um, I'm showing brains off. The first was like an uh, an autism joke he made, and he had to apologize for this later. And the second is a joke where Doug, Doug Walker says the N-word. Do I have these in the right order? Does he say it first or yeah, second? Yeah, this, this, is, okay. this is the autism one bit okay. here. Yeah, he, he shouldn't have made fun of his entire audience like that. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Rule the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think he entertains the autistic children. <laughs> and uh, that's why we... <laughs> oh, that's rich coming from you, buddy. Okay, that's rich coming from you, mister. You entertain the autistic children. <laughs> that's your entire career. Look at Mimi. <laughs> Look how she turned out. She's horrible because of you, Doug. Excuse me, I got I got into Nostalgia Critic when I was an autistic young adult, not a child. Well, you know, stunted growth. All right, what do we have here? So have, this okay, is this so is the this second is, incendiary where, remark. Yeah, okay, all right. This is the scene where Santa Claus, played by the, the guy who voiced the Sultan in Disney's Aladdin, I forget his name, but Santa Claus is is he's got to go to jail in the movie because they don't believe he's really Santa Claus. 
They think he's just making it all up. He's a right. fibber. Hey, they think he's just some crazy old man. So he, he up. ends up in jail at one point in the movie, and uh, Doug inserts this little joke. This little gem. Club Doom in the chat. I'm staring with the man in the mirror. <laughs> What's up, my niggas? <laughs> All right, that was <laughs> We got run now, back. Birds, how did you feel about that joke? We got run back. See, the first, we got run back. The first joke, the first joke he made about autistic people that was offensive to my demographic. Uh-huh. But yep. this joke is offensive to yours, right? So, what do you think about it? I think I think fucking Doug Walker better watch his back next time he goes to a convention and sells some headshots. I'm gonna say that much because a nigga gonna slide. What? Close Doug, I, I can't do a Malcolm. He's got such a weird voice. I gave Doug the pass. I gave Doug the pass. <laughs> That's my nigga. That's my nigga. He tapped in. Okay, yeah, corn, a cornball like Malcolm? That, bro, that nigga handed in his card years ago. Look at that dude, man. He's dressing up like Morty. He's a furry. Nah, man. He hung out with Lotsa? Nah. <laughs> What's up, my niggas? What's up, my ningens? <laughs> Ningen! <laughs> Alright, alright, we gotta... Okay, for a second, I told you to be inward! <laughs> Ningen! <laughs> That's a good dogs eating dogs. You're a great voice actor, Mimi. All right. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. so much. I was talking the other day, I'm trying to get better at switching it up, like, in the middle of a, a live stream and not being nervous, but that's... It's harder for me, I guess, because I'm always afraid. Oh, no, it's going to come out sounding wrong. Chat, she does a great job. Chat, what do you think of Mimi? She does a great job with the voice work. I think she's awesome. Yeah, it's it, it takes time, but you do a wonderful job, and the fact that you can do it at all, good shit. Now, the, in, the N-word is very controversial. Certain groups, certain people are very bothered by it. Others aren't bothered at all. Some niggas have sensitive <laughs> into the premiere of demo reel no, uh just no, want to give you a little... do you want to go do you want to go to, to the next uh short video we've got here which is the linkara crossover sketch no, with we the, got, about we got to we got to we got to wait we got to okay all right all right all right we'll do it cuz this is a we'll short this is short we'll do it and then we have to watch a demo no. reel it's a good segue too intru- cuz that's also about batman I, let's dig yeah, into intru- the comic I introduced the brains to this to this uh sketch here which is from a this is from a linkara review where Doug cameos i think this is one of the maybe the last thing that they did together like in a video but this is where linkara debunks Doug's most famous long-running joke and leaves him utterly destroyed uh crushes all his irrational beliefs with facts and logic we love uh, to see it over the span of two minutes Shitcock McP boner with 499 Doug walking around O Block with his wife beater and a shiesty calling everyone his enwas how long is he lasting I don't know. I, I think I think Doug is not going to slide. I think I think Doug's about to get a red dot on his knot. What do you think, Mimi? Do you think he's gonna get tapped in? Uh, I think that Doug always carries a gun with him. He's always ready for battle. I don't think it'll go down without a fight. Mimi proving that she knows nothing about black people or Chicago. Anyway. Adaptation of Batman and Robin. Our boy. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, Linkara, let's do this. Huh? I prepare myself for this mentally, let's just get it over with. The hell are you talking about? You're reviewing a comic adaptation of Batman and Robin, the movie that has a certain infamous moment in it, and you yourself have used it to torture me! <laughs> I'm sorry, Safi killed me in the chat. Demo Reel, I really hope it'll be successful. <laughs> Oh shit, I really hope it'll be successful. Club Doom with $10. I really hope, I really hope my voice acting demo reel will be successful too, Safi. That is coming down the pipeline. <laughs> Much appreciated, brother. Uh, Club Doom with $10. My uncle's family tree thing just came in the mail today. Uh, you spelled mail wrong, dumbass. <laughs> we apparently 10% African. You know what that means? I can talk about black issues on History Channel as if I know what I'm talking about. Hey, inshallah, my brother. All praise due to Allah, homie. Tap you in, man. You want a koofty? Hit me up, homie. Hit you up. 
<laughs> my boy, my man. After our Superman 4 crossover. My mail. Pause. Pause. You know everybody's waiting for it. People are costing me about it all the time. They give me these handmade replicas. They give me giant versions of it. They've even given me a pillow of it. Let's just get on with the bit. I'll rant and scream and we can just get on with our lives. Do it. Do it. Do it! Batman is rich. A bad credit card! Wait, what? He is. Oh, 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 I don't know if we're ready, Mimi. Look at how look, look at how, how determined he is. Look at him. He, look at he him. He is not having he is not having any of the critics' nonsense. I play no motherfucking games, critics. He's rich and has funneled that money into his crime fighting enterprises through shell companies and false identities. I don't get what you And being someone who prepares for multiple eventualities as demonstrated in both comics and TV, wherein he's actually utilized his money to solve a situation or bought something that he wouldn't normally Pause. carry with him, which would include, say, diapers for a rescued baby or coffee to keep himself awake, plus his tendency to accessorize his crime-fighting tools to fit his motif from something understandable like a fearsome vehicle to something silly like his projectiles resembling a bat and the aforementioned usage of shell companies to acquire <laughs> items. What exactly is so ridiculous and anger-inducing about a bat credit card? Critic? Yeah? Get in the corner. Okay. The Lightbringer has spoken, Mimi. He, he destroyed that running joke forever. He put it to rest uh, many years after it was uh, initially invented. He has is, he is funneled his finances through shell companies. Safi's right. He just had to say, it's a comic. It's a comic book character. Guy dresses up like a bat. It's a funny joke. It's funny. Haha. -ha. Well, Link Linkara takes comics very seriously. Though. Yeah, he, I know. He, he <laughs> I know he does. And, and I'll and, and I'll say this. I'll say this too. Um, Dogs Eating Dog Six. He reviewed uh, Batman and Robin. He he fr flipped out at the Bat credit card, and that was after Linkara had already debunked it. So unlike Doug, he had no excuse. No, he had an excuse because he is the mashup guy. All right. He's he's playing a different game than Doug Walker, uh, Bane Blade. I know with... that he. I know Stop that doing this. Like... Just okay. <laughs> let me read the surface. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this this girl is so quick to defend Doug Walker. Uh, Bane Blade with 300 Icelandic kroner. Does Linkara wear the fedora or does it wear him? I think it's like a Darth Vader th situation where it's descended on his head in the morning. What do you think, Mimi? Does it possess him? Well, the thing is, well, the thing is, he's not Linkara except when he's in the outfit. So clearly, the clothes make the man on some level. That's true. Uh, Joey the Raccoon with two dollars. Can I be Linkara and goodly be cinema snob? No, uh, you can. You could be brows held high and film brain. <laughs> 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 Laugh at them. <laughs> You could have gone lower. You could have done like Paw Dugan or something. I'm sorry. I, I I barely watched him, but you know. Yeah. No, we're he not. Comes from, he's 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 easy. He's we're easy. Just, we're trying to insult them, not kill them, Mimi. Come on. Full information of. <laughs> no. We don't hate you, Jason. If you and if if you. If you ever need, if you ever need a Princess Luna voice, hey, uh, if you ever need, like, another one, I'm your girl, just saying.
Oh shit. Oh fuck. Sorry, chat. You couldn't hear me at all. Mimi, chat Tell couldn't hear me. Tell us how long you haven't been able to hear brains so that we can go back and repeat all the exact same things we said. Oh, it's been a minute, hasn't it? I read a super and everything. Okay. Oh, fuck. I'll clip that. I'm so sorry, everyone. I don't know what the hell happened there. Damn it. Um, anyway, I was saying that Jason Gomez fucking cooked me and Deadwing Dork. He hit us with a diss. I'm very afraid of him rapping really good and kicking our asses. Um, yeah, life, yeah, tried, life bad. We tried to tell him we don't hate him, and that if he ever needs, like, somebody to, to voice his, his pony wife who Princess Luna like, in his videos, he should minutes. put me to it do it. It was two full minutes! Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, chat. Yeah, I just got a DM from Joey Raccoon about it. Oh, man, even Joey? Oh, I'm so sorry, chat. I'm very sorry. I will make sure that that's clipped out of the VOD. I, I apologize profusely. Um, as I said prior to that, Dr. Storm with $5, the Channel Awesome website is apparently gone now. At least Guru Larry can say that Brad didn't outlast him on the site. That is very good. I made a joke in the style of Guru Larry, but you guys didn't hear it. It was so funny. Mimi laughed. Jason in chat. Jason beat my ass, guys. <laughs> Seven minutes. Five minutes. Where's the I'm just video? saying if I'm just saying if I if I were a voice actor for you, Jason, I would actually scream and yell so that when you said, Wow, you were yelling pretty loud there, it would actually be true. Just saying. Grapes are the saying I should keep the long gap of silence in. <laughs> oh man. Man, you guys would have freaked if, if the PNG and Jason Gomez just appeared and went, Hey guys, I'm taking over Slug Boys now. I'm taking over Slug Boys now. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good. Oh shit, I feel so dumb. It's Beetlejuice. I'm the ghost with the most baby. <laughs> Eat your soul. I'm uh, talking to you. Oh my god, Ghost Dad. What a fucking horrible Cosby impression. Man, Malcolm Ray handed the card, <laughs> nigga. Damn. That's right. Now I will buy a jello pudding pop from the fiery depths of hell. This is one of the worst Cosby impressions I've ever heard. <laughs> how, how did you fuck this up so bad? He's terrifying! What are we gonna do? The only thing we can do. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Who are you? Ghostbusters! Chicago Division. But we're in Philadelphia. We're branching out. All right, Ghost, prepare to die. Oh, is this royalty-free Ghostbusters playing? <laughs> Well, I well, I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was totally an octave. <laughs> that was an octave up. This is royalty-free <laughs> Ghostbusters. D Doug Walker uses this kind of thing in a lot of his videos, where he just takes like an existing song and changes a couple notes, so it's well, not that's, copyright infringing. Yeah, that's a very common technique. It's like you you get a sound alike that's like interpolated or like. Usually you'll go like an octave up. See, it, it's my turn to be autistic, Mimi. So like, if you ever want to sound alike, you would usually like maybe switch a few notes into minors or or you would like, yeah, uh, maybe take it an octave up or, or a semitone up or something. See, I can explain things too, smarty pants. Die again. You can't do this to me. I gave you Malcolm Jamal Ward. Fire! How is he this bad at doing a Cosby impression? Genuinely. <laughs> Genuinely. Like, everyone... Oh, you say Flay, You know, like, you just do it from the back of your throat. Like, come on, dog. Dog, did you never watch Bill Cosby ever? Dog. Hold on, that's, that's, not, that's not Doug doing the impression, though. It's Malcolm. I said dog, not Doug, you silly bastard. Uh, goodly draws with 4 dollars Mr. Joey T. Raccoon does not speak for me. I better be I better have been the brown held high guy in that shit. Yeah, he's filled brain because he's he's very annoying. 
gag in some in some nostalgia critic videos before this so you can already kind of see an issue with demo reel which is that he's carrying over like the same material because he did a review of casper where he had like that little casper drawing as like as like a co-host of sorts sort of like you know like shit pickle or the glitch gremlin uh from av gen Girl, I feel like but, you could do a fucking Criterion Collection commentary on the Nostalgia Critic the way you talk. <laughs> You're talking about this guy like he's Werner Herzog. What is wrong with you? He's a ghost. What? Ah! Boise ghost, it is the most of it, and they're scary too. This is screen. your good old screen friend funny. Randy saying, <laughs> Miners. Now that, <laughs> that's now right, that, 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 that little song you heard right there, Stop. that was a... No, I've, I've tried to explain. Right, that right. was that was Doug doing his Randy Newman impression, which again is just carrying over more jokes from yeah. Nostalgia Critic because he did that in the James the Giant Peach review. Because because Doug really doesn't like Randy Newman and he likes making fun of his. How does he his, not um, like Randy music? Newman? He's an extremely accomplished songwriter. Man, Doug's such a midwit. Well, he doesn't like Baby's Kids. He doesn't like Randy Newman. He's he said he likes some Randy Newman songs, but he. He, he he made fun of his music a lot when he reviewed James and the Giant Peach, and this is just kind of a carryover from that. It's him doing his silly Randy impression. This is this really does feel like Obi Wan Kenobi versus Anakin Skywalker? But you're you're Anakin. You're Anakin. You know I'm I'm hitting you with reason and appealing to your emotions, but I forget that you don't have emotions. All that you've been clouded. By the influence well, yeah, of I'm that guy with the glasses. I'm siding with the noble oncoming empire, whereas you're clinging to a dying republic with depreciated currency. Look, the midichlorians make sense, okay? Oh, hello. I'm Donnie Dupre. And what you just saw, believe it or not, was not the sixth sense. I know. It felt like the movie looked it like felt the like movie. It. it did. Maybe even a little better than you remember it. But in fact, this was a film brought to you by our online production team, Demo Reel. What is Demo Reel? Well, how do I put it? You got movies, old and new, low budget and big budget, appealing to all... Okay, Chad, I don't like Phil Collins either, but it's for many specific reasons. Uh, Peter Gabriel era Genesis, way better than Phil Collins era Genesis. Phil Collins is kind of, kind of a sappy motherfucker, but I mean, he's talented. Yeah. I just don't like him. Doug, I just don't like him. Doug has made fun of Phil Collins a lot over the years, too. Yeah, me and Doug would agree on that. And also, I'm hitting myself. I'm hitting myself. All sorts of different audiences. And as great as all these movies are, in all humbleness, we can do it better. And I don't think I'm being too selfish when I say that. We have perfected what many consider to already be perfect, and... So is this just like him doing Be Kind Rewind? Oh yeah, it's exactly like this. <laughs> <laughs> Except ah. the, um, you, you got the premise, but, uh, you, you got the concept. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, the thing about this series is that, uh, how do I say this? Uh, it's confusing because the 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 the, the recreations of movies that he's making are like parodies of the original. Yeah. So it's like, is he like clearly very intentionally not like he's not making it like bad by accident. He's not making it. He's not doing that. Like making making it look like Donnie is making these movies. Bad. I think they do sort of explain why that is later because there's like some plot twists about Donnie Dupre's backstory. So he's doing like it's essentially like revisionist. Uh, yeah, but we can we can already see a problem with uh, this character here, which is that he's not very different from the nostalgic critic. No, he's he's extremely uh, similar to the nostalgic critic. In fact, he's no Chester A. Bum. Made it even more perfect. Deeper. Yes, we vow to show what our cinematic skills are capable of, and there is no doubt that we have quite a wide range of talent, including directors, actresses. Directors, writers, directors, cinematographers, directors, caterers, and writer, cinematographer, director, actress, caterers. 
Our goal to reach an audience so long. This is like the exact same character. All right, like obviously the nostalgia critic character is like more uh, like violently angry all the time, but like it's the same like oh I'm a pompous narcissist who knows best kind of character, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. That that's part. That's kind of the issue is. Part of why Demo Reel failed is like he canceled Nostalgia Critic to keep making this series that's kind of like the Nostalgia Critic, but not exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, goodly. Yeah, it's, it is kind of like, um, what, what was that sketch in all that? Uh, Blickbluster? With the, with the like Polish family remaking the movies? Also, very that similar concept. Ama- that was from the was Amanda Show. Was that from the show. Amanda Show? Block- okay. It was called Block Blister. Okay, my bad. My bad. I yeah, it's 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 like block bliss. It's like block blister. Also, yeah. Yeah, and they yeah they Ma- they rent know, the movie and then it's just Amanda and make- Drake Bell. Yeah. Yeah, make it, but this movie better, much better. Yes. I didn't. I didn't just watch like a ton Johnny of Amanda Craig. Show too. I like. I just caught it once in a while. But uh, Amanda Show was pretty good. Man. I wish I wish Dan Schneider's legacy wasn't ruined because he actually did a lot of cool stuff <laughs> for like yeah, kids television. Yeah, happened to that guy? He was he was such a talented writer. Whatever happened to him? It beats me. Beats me. Bars that Hollywood would have no choice but to offer us a chance to make our very own motion picture. We even send our motion pictures to the original filmmakers themselves. <laughs> In fact, famed director M Night Shyamalan once said of our work. I thought my twists were bad. B, uh, the see, AVGN came before the Nostalgia Critic. Our work critic. was so good that his was inferior by comparison. With Rebecca Stone, Tacoma Narrows, Carl Copenhagen, and the rest, we want to make our incredibly oh, yeah. humble goal. Is Carl Copenhagen did like that horrible that? character that his brother plays? Yeah, it is. But did did you catch the fact that uh, Malcolm's character in this is named Tacoma Narrows? Is that a cool name or what? A fame, fortune, and riches beyond our wildest dreams come true. For you, Tacoma Narrows. Demo reel. We don't make films, we remake them. Got Alright, now Sixth Sense seemed to go over really well online. In fact, a lot of people say it was our best work to date. I know! Did you see that one comment? What the hell did I just watch? People are speechless. We're leaving them asking questions. Important questions, like, what the hell did I just watch? Exactly. So, I feel for the next one we should do something super n- Alright, what happened to Rachel? What happened to Rachel? Well, at some point she moved, and she got replaced by Tamara, who I believe she she was friends good who i believe i believe the two of them were friends and that's how doug got uh tamra on his show afterwards gotcha gotcha natural uh tagoma what do you got well i was thinking Wuthering heights there's a lot of atmosphere as well as ghosts in the movie and it'll give us a chance to really dive into the psychological hey hey or batman oh batman would be awesome yeah let, let, let's do batman uh, I don't think Batman is really supernatural. Sure he is. Always flying around, sucking people's blood. Th- that's Dracula. No. No, no, it, it was definitely Batman. Yeah, I remember. Man, the worst part, uh, the worst part about this stuff is like some of these jokes are like just a good read away from being funny. You know? Like, I think if she delivered that Dracula Batman joke better and Malcolm handled it better. That would have been very funny. Like, just, yeah, like, at its more, core. She, said it, she should have said it more like I would. Yeah, like an airhead. Like a complete stupid airhead. <laughs> but, and, like, uh, I... But part, of the, part of the issue here is that Doug... I will say this, even though Doug is playing an NC-like character, in a lot of these uh, documentary, mockumentary segments, he is kind of trying to act a little bit more natural, which he can't do. He cannot act like a normal person. No, he can only act like no, an over-the-top caricature. I think, I think you would, you would call someone like Doug, like he's, he's like a character actor. Like he plays one type yeah. of guy. He doesn't have range. He plays like a, a spastic weirdo, right? That's, that's his character he plays. And I would argue he's he, like he plays Lewis it pretty well. of our generation. 
Yeah, well, Jerry Lewis had more range, too, so I don't know about that. For Francis Ford Coppola talked about on his commentary. That was also Dracula. It, what is your obsession with Dracula? I don't have an obs... Look, Batman's not a vampire. Are you saying that George Clooney is not a blood-sucking Nosferatu who feeds on the young to keep himself immortal? Yeah, this shit pisses me off because, like, the jokes are almost well, good. D Doug is red pilled on the uh, adrenochrome conspiracies before they were big. Facts, facts. Doug kind of group floor Doug. I cannot argue with that. There you go. Batman. 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 My name is Tacoma Narrows. I am the writer for Demory. Tacoma Narrows. I came across Donnie and I thought, what better way to break into the industry? True, a lot of times uh, he doesn't go with. Oh, shit. Uh, Ted Comet with $5. Malcolm thinks he's big shit just because he was the voice of the McDonald's ads. <laughs> did you see Link Carr's reaction to Oni Place and walking him? Yes, I did. What a great reaction. Everybody has seen it. I saw it when it was hot off the presses. Oh, geez. It's so good. He handled it so poorly. Can I just say, Mimi, that Doug handled the Oni thing so well? He was like a class act. He was just like, yeah, those guys are pretty funny. Yeah, like, he, it, he, got, it got him yeah. a lot of goodwill again after he had been a punching bag for a while. Honestly, it was so cool of him just going like, yeah, that cracked me up. Yeah, and he like, you know, was talking about it a bit. And Linkara went the totally different direction, just going like, you mean those guys who made a mockery of me? <laughs> Well, the thing is, the thing is, D Doug loves it when people make memes about him. Linkara weirdly hate any meme about him that he didn't intentionally force himself. Linkara's got such thin fucking skin. It's great. My ideas. In fact, when I originally put down... Yeah, even Chris Chan handled getting roasted by the Oni Place crew better. Even he cracked up at the, the like, the pepper spray pepper thing. Like, Linkara's got thinner Why skin than Chris! How did they call it pepper spray if it's not pepper? <laughs> Down has almost nothing to do with the final product, but that's Donnie's direction, and I respect him as an artist. Hey, this this isn't what I'm calling Linkara soy it's consumer in the chat. Maybe. How is it better this way? It's more Does he engaging. consume soy? William Wallace is supposed to be having an epic battle with the British. Well, now he's having an epic battle with a dragon named Longshanks. What? The Nordic leaves, but the Nordic are Respect is such a strong word. Oh man, Malcolm is the worst, dog. This nigga charisma vacuum, man. This dude terrible. He has an okay voice, was, but like his not, delivery is just expecting. awful. I was not expecting so much Malcolm hate in this video. <laughs> No, nah, Malcolm's the worst one. I mean, this, I mean, this, work, this is to be to be fair. This is this is back when Malcolm first started collaborating with Doug. This is like over a decade ago now. I'm sure he's improved. I'm sure if you were to watch a a newer video with Malcolm in it, you would say, "Wow, he's so much better." I'm so proud of him. I really like that episode of uh, Demo Reel where they uh, remade Boys in the Hood. That was a good episode. My name is Rebecca Irish Stone, music for a Scottish Stone, guy. Not Hell yeah. The accent was silent. Uh, I went to college. Ted comment with $2. Doug can generally write funny, not act funny. I agree. I agree. I think Doug's actually pretty solid as like a comedy writer. Some of those jokes were good. As someone who like <laughs> is someone who's written some comedy himself, uh, I think like the delivery, like that's what really hurts his jokes. Because conceptually, the jokes are tight. It's just his his acting and his actors that he's playing off of cannot realize the material. If he had, like, funnier people with him or people with a comedy background, I think he would do a lot better. But I wasn't what do I... expecting to hear such praise. I'm glad I'm wearing you down. Oh, you're the worst, Vivi. College for acting. Uh, after college, I decided to do my own one-woman show, which was, of course... Hamlet. And I know what you're thinking. How can a woman play Hamlet? 
Well, I always thought that Hamlet seemed like a woman trapped inside of a man's body. So I decided to play his feminine Whoa. side. You know that one scene where he's talking to the skull and he's like, oh, poor dead jester guy. I rewrote it a little bit. <laughs> Your bony lips I have kissed, I know not how oft. See? Him kissing a guy suddenly makes sense. It's a lot better than that weird jester boy thing that they were implying. I don't know, Shakespeare's a perv. I'm currently a security guard at a warehouse in the greater Chicago land area. I'm not allowed to say which one, but they have been extremely good to me. One of yeah, she's also pretty bad. Again, the jokes are kind of tight. Like, the idea of her doing a one-woman show and it flopping so bad that she took up a job in security. Pretty solid joke, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. One of them said I was a stunod, which I assume is Italian for bright. We have a mutual agreement between us. We film here, and they do whatever they do. Ten comment, very, there. very on the money. They You're getting the like for that. That was a good. That was a good super. Thank you. He's just like me, for real, for real. Yes, say good night, Paulie. No, no. What do these people do again? Construction. Oh, okay. All right, so you're going to enter through this way. Right here. So, which of the Batman yeah, flower movies were you thinking movie. about doing? Well, I don't like to think small. Big shock. So, I was thinking about doing the Christopher Nolan movies. Okay, all right. I will say this, chat. I don't think Malcolm would give the pass. I think Doug would say it, and Malcolm wouldn't do anything about it. I think Malcolm would be like, come on, man. You know, like, he'd say something like that. Like, he'd be like Carlton in the Bel Air reboot. Where he's just like, I can't fuck up this opportunity, man. You know, like, I don't think he would say, I don't think he would give the pass, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't object to Doug going, what's up, my nigga? You know, is that fair to say, Mimi? Uh, I mean, Malcolm is a very loyal friend, so yeah, probably. Malcolm, yeah, Malcolm's a bitch, you're right. Which one? All of them. Uh, how do you do all of the Christopher Nolan movies? Yeah, Malcolm you know, Pussy, I'm man. With this. Like the Adam <laughs> West Malcolm Batman Pussy. movie, where all the villains come together and try to take him out? Exactly, except with more sharks. Wait, let me get this straight. You want me to write a script combining all... He'd be disappointed, but he'd just be like, come on, man, that's not cool. But he wouldn't press him. He wouldn't press him. He'd just like, that's not cool, man. And Doug would be like, no, 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 it's a character. It's a joke. 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 You know? There was a joke in one video about, like, Oscar bait white guilt movies where Malcolm was like, the, yeah, the critic always takes me out for dinner after we watch one of those. But they don't oh. usually make those kind of, that's, they don't usually make, like, weird racial jokes between the critic and Malcolm. They keep it classy. Oh, man. I love how straight ahead you view this stuff. I know Doug. Doug has slid on that shit. He's said the N-word multiple times, probably in front of Malcolm. Numerous times. Numerous times. Come on, boy. You know, that's what Doug would yeah, say. They, they, have, they have such a great friendship that, <laughs> that, that they're innocent, right? They don't, they don't, like, Malcolm hears Doug say the N-word. It doesn't even occur to him as a bad thing because... Their friendship is so innocent and undying. That's the most fucking white lady crack of shit I have ever heard. I would punch Doug Walker if he said that shit to my face. All the Christopher Nolan movies into one story with all the characters and all of the plot twists. Exactly. We can put it all in one movie. Everyone's <laughs> always like, oh, buddies. let's put them in one movie at a time. No, just shove them all together. It'll be great. But most people can't even follow one Christopher <laughs> Nolan movie without... Mimi, Kazma, Kazma's calling you out. Kazma said, you're writing this guy, quote, and uh, in parentheses, Doug. You're writing Doug's dick so hard, I hope he tips you well. How do you feel about that, Mimi? He's gonna tip me with a cameo. That's right. Um, we're getting, we're getting yeah, the cameo. I hope he tips me well too. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, isn't she a treasure chat? Using a flow chart. Don't you think that's going to be a little much? Well, yeah, that's the American way. Too much, too fast. I don't think that's the American way. Sure it is. Come on, ask Carl. He says American is Uncle Sam. Aren't you, Carl? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Rob as American Walker. as foosball and double strudel. There you go, then. Nice. 
Rob Walker playing Klaus. Good Hell yeah. My name is Karl Copenhagen. Ich bin ein Kameraman. Und das hier ist meine Kamera. Kami. Sag guten Tag, Kami. This is just him being Klaus from American Dad, 100%. Shameless. God. I don't think he, I don't think the, the, the Walker brothers got an equal share of talent. How do you feel about that? Um, well, the thing is behind, I mean, you said earlier that you think Doug is a funny writer, but not a funny actor, but you got to realize a lot of the writing is Rob. Like they both kind of equally write everything. It's just Doug that performs it. Are they like the Coen brothers? I don't have to yeah, realize I, that. I don't know. Never assume I know. Well, well, I'm I'm just saying you were praise you. Were, I mean, I'm saying that like you watch like the nostalgia critic first viewing videos and stuff where they're spitballing ideas. Like, in a lot of ways, you know, the critic is almost is like one third a product of Rob, two thirds a product of Doug. But Rob just didn't have the charisma. He had the jokes. He didn't have the charisma. Very. I mean, that's common. That's common. That's really similar to like the Adam Sandler camp. Uh, Dr. Storm with $5. See no clips of the Bel Air reboot outside of the one where Will was mad at Carlton for letting a white guy say the N-word. I'll stick with fish pins. <laughs> you find Jeffrey. You find Jeffrey. You find Jeffrey. Don't talk. See, it's my liebling. No. Yeah, Carl's a weird one. <laughs> Can you make me a sandwich? No. He's German. He's always talking about before the fell. Before the war fell, I had quite destroyed history. Unfortunately, all of that has been classified. Therefore, I will have to black out certain questions mit mein Schwarzpen. I appreciate the Fesh Prince Nein. fans in chat. Nein. I think he said he was in the German Navy. Nein, 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 nein. I think he told me he was working for a lady named Stacy. No, I will say this. Uh, do you think that Rob is like, how would you compare Rob to Mike Maté? Because that's kind of his cinematic or uh, equivalent, so to speak, in terms of the, uh, I, the man behind the critic. I think Mike Maté. Okay, so I, don't, I, can, I can put this in a good term. Um, where. Rob Walker is kind of like that one character actor is in the, who's in like all the Adam Sandler movies. He's just like a general like character comedian actor. I forget the guy's name off the top of my head, but he's a funny guy uh, and he's Rob very Schneider? inoffensive. No, no, no. Is he, Mike, he's very, no, yeah, it's not Mike, him. He's very no, inoffensive. No, Mike Matei is Rob Schneider. Yeah, Mike Matei oh. is the Rob Schneider to AVGN's version of Sandler. Whereas Rob Walker is kind of just one of the inoffensive people of the Sandler camp to Adam Sandler, if that makes sense. Where he's like, he's fine. He's like a, he's like like a Kevin James. Yeah, he's kind of like Kevin James, right? Where he fits in, but he doesn't do too like much. Like a David Spade. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't detract. I feel bad for David Spade. I always like David Spade, but like his worst work is on the Sandler stuff, no doubt. But yeah, yeah, like Mike Matei is like Rob Schneider, where like he is trying to exit the shadow of Adam Sandler all the time, even though he belongs in the shadow, you know? Yeah, he be um, he, he, he belongs in the shadow. You mean like, a, you know, like skin darkening makeup? Yeah, yeah, I do mean that. Yes, yes, I do. Huh. Fair. Look, there's only one more question left. How are you? None of your business. He seems to be really good friends with that other cameraman, Quinn. Yeah, God, Rob is so trash. Like, I can, I can see how his jokes are solid. Okay, I like, yeah, even, I'll even stretch that. Like, oh, weird, like German stereotype cinematographer, funny hypothetically. He is not a good actor. He is not a good actor. He's he's terrible. He's like straight up terrible. They should have cast someone based on Rob's notes. You know, in the recent uh, in the cinema snob movie, the second one, Rob plays like the snob's best friend character. He's like the co-star. 
Oh, that sounds terrible. I think he's Irish. I'm pretty sure he's Cajun too. My assistant is Quinn. He did not work for the IRA, and he will not answer any of your questions. My name is Quinn, and I didn't work for the IRA, and I ain't gonna answer any questions you got for me. He is a good mercenary, is that fair? I mean, cameraman. Thank you, Stern. I am Danny Dupre, the founder likes the and costumes. director of Demo Reel. Uh, we don't make a whole lot of money on it. In fact, you could argue we're losing money. But, you know, you make sacrifices for your art, and that's what counts. Outside of this, I do not relatable. have a job. Deeply relatable. Uh, which I know is hard to believe. So I rely on my wife's income. And I know what you're thinking. Donnie, how is that fair to you? Well, it's not. I mean, you have no idea the stigma that's placed on stay-at-home husbands who make remakes of films with their best friends. Some might say I'm cheap or uh, dodgy. Again, the, like, yeah, and maybe, maybe you can give me a bit of enlightenment here, Mimi. But like, the the jokes are actually good at times. It's just the delivery is so lousy. <laughs> Yeah, this is, well, this, yeah, this was at the time kind of different, kind of different territory, this sort of like Parks and Rec office mockumentary style for, you know, like part of, like part of the issue is like, Doug has to act a little bit more natural than he usually does here. He has to act a little more normal, which you can't do. Mm -hmm. I'm going through, you know, uh... like. He, he's only good at playing, you know, characters like Nostalgia Critic or Chester A. Bum or Devil Boner, who are just, you know, as over the top as possible. Yeah, he's, like he he plays like can, zany can, characters. Yeah, yeah. You can see him like struggling here, like wanting to break free, like having to hold himself back. Yeah, exactly. It's like when you saw uh, Jim Carrey when he played Andy Kaufman in in Man on the Moon. Uh <laughs> And it's like you can tell he he's really struggling to hold in his Jim Carreyness and play this subdued guy, and he can't quite do it. I think yeah, and the worst part is I know like Jim respected Andy a lot too, but like a, a, they just have different comedy styles. He just couldn't nail Andy's style of delivery. Responsibility, like, but he, I ask you he this: could do his voice okay, but his physical mannerisms—it's the were physical still mannerisms. Too, like, yeah, Andy. Andy is so like, yeah, Andy is so like, just fucking blank and like stilted in how he does stuff, and and, and Jim is like so animated. Like it's it's a very bizarre casting. I can see like at least conceptually yeah, how it makes that's, sense, that's, but yeah. And that, that's how I see it whenever Doug tries to play a less over-the-top role. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It's someone very animated trying to play someone subdued. It's quite difficult. What kind of guy wants to set the women's work liberation thingy years back? Not me. I'm doing my wife a favor by allowing her to work. By giving her another spot for a working woman to come in. Film nerd, are you telling me you haven't watched the entire filmography of David Lynch, but you watched Demo Reel? Your name is Film Nerd. Come on, man, get it together. Now that's a sacrifice. So I'm simply allowing. See you, Bane Blade. Thank you so much for joining us. Chance to be working women. I'm part of the liberation. I'm there, doing it for my sisters. And if you think that's dodging responsibility, well, you're more than welcome to set the women's liberation thingy back several years. So, you're supporting your wife's ability to support you? Oh, now see, this zany weekend. actor abuse. Let All right, so we're on board with the Nolan movies, then. Uh, yeah, just one question. Can we go with the Harvey Dent from the first Burton Batman? You know, the one Stop played by... Stop snitching Billy on yourself, Williams. though. Please. I kind of feel like he got the shaft. You know, replacing a charismatic black man with that Texas tool from The Fugitive. Oh, I see. Seeing what would happen if you have Billy Dee Williams play Two-Face. Exactly. Okay, alright. I like that. I like that a lot. It's like seeing Lando Calrissian play both the good and the bad. That's exactly what Lando Calrissian did. Yeah, whatever. Just making the mayor of Cloud City.
Master Bruce, seeing as how both your parents have been murdered, it is my job to serve you as your guardian. But wait, isn't that a little con- Doug, why is he so bad at voices? <laughs> No, I was I'm saying, fucking like, dying. Why is he? That's I. I, I was. Not, okay. I was having a hard time explaining okay. this earlier. But part of the weird thing about demo reel is that the in-universe movies that Donnie Dupree is making are like criticizing and making fun of the original movie. Yeah. And this yeah. is kind of a confusing choice at first. Like, why? Are, why are his movies like nostalgia critic sketches? <laughs> But, well, aren't uh, they like they, proto like these are proto nostalgic critic sketches though aren't they well because he, he didn't he, do he, sketches he like this a ton did he yeah he had done sketches before this but not as to this extent right okay okay and not and not with like a regular cast of extras uh, um but I, a, a regular cast of like secondary actors but i right. will say this uh I do think they kind of explain that as demo reel goes on, but it's really confusing at first. Because I think they explain as it goes on that Donnie Dupre is just like bitter at Hollywood and because of his tragic backstory that I won't get into because I don't want to spoil it. Please stop explaining. It's confusing seeing as how you're also my butler. I don't much like your toe. Go to your room. Go to your room. Yes, Master Bruce. Woo! So, Alfred, after years and years of soul-searching, I finally decided the logical conclusion of what to do with my life. I'm gonna be a superhero. Okay. That's it? Okay. I didn't even have to convince you. This is... This nigga's terrible at impressions. How do you fuck up... <laughs> he fucked up a Bill Cosby and a Michael Caine? Doug, put him down! I've lived off your fortune for years now. I've seen prostitutes of every shape and color. The way I see it, if you wanted to go and shoot the Pope, I'd be behind you. You've never given up on me, have you? Never. I will never give up on you. And neither will my brothel of well-paid whores. We have much work to do, my horny old friend. This calls for a costume change. Like what? Something terrifying. All right, Mimi, we need your explanation powers here. T-Bar said he did sketches at first to evade copyright strikes. It has snowballed since. Is that a fair assertion? Uh, well, no, because he, he's, I think he's talking about the clipless. That's true of the clipless reviews, but not yes. the sketches. Yes, the clipless reviews, um, yes. The clipless reviews are the the reviews where there where there are no clips from the movie and it's just sketches. Yeah, he did that for a while, but he actually doesn't do those anymore. He hasn't done one in several years. I think The Rise of Skywalker was the last one because I don't know. Maybe it's just because of how negatively people reacted to the wall that he stopped doing those. I'm not entirely sure. Man, it's it's so crazy that he got Corey to be in the wall review, like. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's crazy. Corey they Taylor. Got, they got Corey Taylor from Slipknot to be in that horrible review. Because, like, didn't Corey's kid really like Doug? Yeah, I I, I think that's the story. Uh, Doug has had, like, celebrity guest stars in his videos before. He had, there was an old one that he had Mara Wilson in. There was one he had Dante Bosco in. There was one that he had, um... Uh, he he actually had Don Bluth in a video to promote the Dragon Slayer Kickstarter once. He, as much as I love Don Bluth, I would argue that Corey Taylor is bigger than all three of those people you named in like every sh oh, yeah, way, he, shape. Oh yeah, he form. is. But I, he's like one of the is, biggest I mean, recording artists of that genre at his peak. I'm just I'm just thinking of people who have been in like BNC before. I'm sure Dante loved the money. I, I'm sure he was quite happy to get the check from Doug. All right, Alfred, you can turn around now. Terrifying, isn't it? No, it's Mario. Why are you dressed like a Mario brother? Mario. Why are you dressed like a Mario brother, Mr. Wayne? You're like... What? He, he he doesn't even hit the inflections right. I'm and, you know I'm not trying to like be the best Michael Caine impressionist ever. 
in that very quick impression I tried to do of him. But like Michael Caine has a very distinct way of speaking. What, like, why didn't he watch some fucking clips before playing them? Well, this was this was the dark age. This was like 2013. How 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 do you expect him to find any clips? Huh? Nigga, it's not uh, like uh, today where you can just search anything on the internet. This was primitive 2013. Mimi, Mimi, actors have been pulling film and finding ways to research people since the 1950s. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Robert De Niro, were those, like, were the, talk were to the... A, were those, wait, no, were those no, actors Ro working for an internet review show? No, the internet didn't fucking exist yet, but Robert De Niro met Jake LaMotta so he could learn who he was and eventually play him in Raging Bull, right? Are you, are you, are you expecting Malcolm to do method acting for a demo reel episode? You expecting yes, him I am. To, yes, to go I am. out and meet Michael Caine and go to his acting courses yes, for I am. a demo reel video? Come yes, on, Brains. Yes, Make I up am. your mind. No, what I'm expecting him to do is to fucking go on YouTube and watch Michael Caine speak and his numerous amount of free classes and free information on acting from him, the guy that he is playing before playing him. In fact, it's easier to learn about these people now. It is easier to be an actor than it's ever been. You could do research on people very easily. Look, Mal Malcolm had to play Tacoma Narrows, Bill Cosby as Ghost Dad, and Michael Caine as Alfred all in one video. I think you're expecting a little too much of him. I am going to Triple H Tombstone Pile Driver you. It scares me. It's time the rest of the world shares my fear. Nobody's friggin' afraid of Mario! Why are you afraid of Mario? He's an Italian plumber who steps on turtles. That's rude. <laughs> and then he kicks them out of their shell, takes their home, and yeah, plunges them to death with it. Man, that's that psychotic. Funny. I don't want that person near my toilets. Don't try another costume! Fine, fine. I'll find something else that scares me. Man, straight what up. If Mario, what if Mario was violent and crazy? Yeah, Violent Mario, Satsumi no Hado Mario. It'd be Mimi, really funny. Mimi, Malcolm Ray is one of the least talented people I've ever seen in my life. This man is incompetent at acting. <laughs> I am a creature of the night. Waldo? You're afraid of Waldo? Nobody can find him. Even with his red and white striped shirt, he always appears to blend in. Go get another one! God. Okay, who was never afraid of Santa Claus? Next! Ooh, I'm a spooky witch! Next! I'm a banana. Next! I'm Where's a spider. Is that a Chinese I, seriously? Reference? Yep. Does he wear red too? Yep. Oh my god. What? Oh, no. Oh man, this is the Amazing Spider-Man 1 costume too. Mimi, uh, what if Mario did drug? What if he did drug? What I if... think that would be really funny. Yeah? If if the mushrooms were like psilocy uh, psilocybin mushrooms? Yeah, that'd yeah be cool. if they were magic mushrooms, if yeah. you know what I mean. I, do I think that would mean. be a really funny twist on Mario. That would be very funny. What if what if Mario was by Somebody should call somebody should call S SNL and sell that joke to them. Mimi Grape Soda asks, what if Mario was bisexual? What if Mario was bi? Um, if Mario was bi, uh, Mamma Mia, I can't choose between Princess Peach and Prince Peasley. <laughs> Mamma Mia. What are the odds of two guys Mario's representing a spider with the color red? Oh, get another one. I mean, seriously, red! Mario oh, can't say the N word. My increased foreclosure we rates among homeowners will lead to a crisis in subprime loans and collateralized debt obligations. You either go and come up with something right now, or I will stab you in the eye. <sighs> well, gee, the only thing left is bats. Bats. See? Ooh. Now that's something Ooh. scary. Oh, come on. They're like number 50 on my scary list. Just do it. <sighs> All right, if you think it's scary. Just do it. Just do it. Man, he's the worst. I mean, I, I'm used to hearing people. Look, I'm not. 
Yeah, this much hate for Malcolm. What's that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was playing while you were I saying said, that. I said I'm used to hearing people hate on Doug. No, Doug's but way I'm better than Malcolm. To, I'm not used to hearing this much hate for Malcolm. Yeah, Malcolm's trash. Malcolm's fucking terrible. You're absolutely sure we don't want to go with the plumber. Right. I warned you. Right in the eye. All right, all right, I'll do bats. It's hard playing multiple Just so roles. you know, Malcolm, Especially if you are watching you this, Brains does not speak for me. I love you. I think you're a precious me. cinnamon roll. You should be protected at all costs. Malcolm is not watching this. He probably doesn't get paid enough money by Doug Walker to afford the internet. Woman Titanic. <laughs> it's very tricky to do a hot, steamy love scene by yourself. Oh, Rose, you're the most beautiful 17-year-old going on 30 that I've ever seen. Oh, Jack, you're the most beautiful 23-year-old going on 12 on all of steerage. Want to set sail? For my pants. Oh, Jack! Oh, Rose! Oh, Jack! Rose! Jack! Rose! Oh, oh Jack! Oh, Rose! Oh, you Jack! Watch I can... No, I, I mean, I've, I've watched a lot of Sega Sonic Gamer, Mimi. It's okay. See your hot oh, Jack! Oh, Jack! Rose! I'm Jack! Oh, Jack! Oh, Rose! Jack! Uh, has anyone seen my glove? Batman glove? Yeah, I, I, I got one. I don't Malcolm have the other one. Malcolm is not a small bean. Malcolm yeah. sucks. You're on the couch? I, I don't have my glasses, and it's a black glove and the black couch, so that's kind of difficult. Is, it, this, it's, it? is this one your glove? I, it looks like yeah, the yeah, yeah, because that looks exactly like the glove. That's the identical. Good, good job. Just good trying job. to help. It, just, wow. I don't even have glasses. I can see it's not the right glove. Okay. I, I do bear it by my thinking. does suck eggs. Hat. You're right. This does okay. suck eggs great. So I had the glove. Okay, screw the thinking hat. This is... Really? Ba Batman can't only have one glove. Why? Because he's freaking Batman! Why would he go around with one glove? What if they could identify his hand? Be like, hey, that hand looks very Bruce Wayne-ish. Is there any way we could write around the fact that Batman only has one glove? It's it's really nice just seeing, like... Uh, like you, you can tell, like, Doug really thought that this was going to be great. Like, he, he thought it was going to be something special when... In actuality, it really was not. Yeah, it's like if he wanted to make his own IP, if he wanted to distinct to like create something he could sell, like, you know, something that wasn't just based around making fun of movies, that's one thing. But no, he just went back to making fun of movies again, but in a slightly different format. Who else wears one glove? Michael Jackson. That's true. Michael Jackson. That could be a nice See. plot twist. And that, that's good because you have one black hand, one white hand, but the black hand is the gloved hand. I have no idea where I'm going with this. This is the stupidest idea. You know what? We're just going to call him One Glove Batman. That'll definitely stick. Yeah, better than a glove. Bearded One Glove Batman. Chat beating his ass. Taylor Nguyen says, This man was cooking, but we ordered takeout. Cook. Oof. God, you didn't have to beat his ass this bad. God damn. A new enemy seems to have shown this evil face. We have a Who new is enemy. that? High oh, page commissioner oh, Gordon. He's a bank robber dressed in all white makeup, simply known as the Joker. Thoughts? He can wait. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. He is just some clown. Ha ha. Wow. We were wrong on that one. Yeah, note to self, clowns aren't evil. Mimi, like Mimi, you sound like a cyborg. What's wrong with you? Pop out and pop back in. Guys, Mimi died. Mimi died, guys. All right, chat, this is an opportunity for you to talk to me before we get back into this complete dog water, this complete dog shit. This absolute booty hoe shit. Questions. Come on, hit me up. Hit me up. I don't want to watch this. Hit me up. Hit me up. Robo Mimi. Cyber Mimi. Uh, can you hear me now? Oh, no, she's back. Oh, man, I was excited to take questions. Hello, Mimi. Yes, Aww. I can hear you now. Yes, I can hear you now. Melvin, I'm brother. I'm going to ruin your fun brains. I could leave Our... now if you need me to. Oh, man. 
no, no, no. It's very important that you're here. I'm I'm happy that you're here. Okay. That's happy right. You're here. Yes. Yes. I bet you are. Yes, I am. Uh, PNG with five dollars Australian. Do you know of Buff Carell? I sure fucking do, boy. I sure do. That's that's my dude. That's my motherfucking dude. Shit. Uh, yeah, at some point we gotta watch some Buff Carell. Hell yeah. Mimi got hit by the satellite man. Satellite man! Mimi, how do your teeth feel right now? How do how do your pearly well, whites you know, feel? Neither here nor there. They're sort of I think I might have a cavity in the back lower right side, but other than that, my teeth feel fine. God, I can't believe the satellite man did that to you. Grape Soda's asking me, uh, smash or pass a meatloaf? Mimi, would you smash or pass a meatloaf? Meatloaf? Uh, he play he he's he he's my favorite rock star. He played he played uh Jack Black's dad in uh Tenacious D the Pick of Destiny. That was really funny. I that I'd was play funny. Smash Brothers with him. You would play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate with Rockstar Meatloaf. Mm hmm Okay, great. Yeah, does that answer your question? It sure does. does. He's a good politician with a strong personality. How do you know? I saw him threaten one of the Joker's mentally disabled henchmen with a gun and a coin. That sounds like a very mentally unstable person. Oh, he's fine. As long as you don't get anything on his face. Kind of sensitive about that. Hey, Rebecca. Damn you, satellite man. Um, can I ask you something? Yeah, what? Hey, I can't, uh, uh, I, I I can't see the stream anymore. Really is there, is, is, are you just like not? Oh, it's because you, it you exited. My bad. My bad. What do you mean? You can't see it? All right. Give me one sec. It's still streaming, too. Okay. That's weird. Uh, what the hell? In Discord. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right, can you see it now? No, I can only see your profile picture. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Okay, now I can see it. Oh, ah. I had it for a second. I just, oh no, now it's gone again. Hold all right. on. All right, it should be back. It should be back. Yeah, I can see it, I can see it. Okay, good. <laughs> Ask this. What, what is um, it? Well, um, as a white person, mm -hmm. uh, does this offend you? I mean, am I crossing any boundaries or anything? Because. Oh, uh, someone put this nigga down, man. What do you mean? You know, maybe there were more the, weird I, I racial feel jokes weird than I remembered. Dressing up in white face in front of. Uh, in front of a bunch of white people. Look, Please, for the love of God, put this nigga down, man. Because he, he did have Malcolm do white face in, uh, in the review of the Shining miniseries where he had him disguised as a white person and he was like, he's like, hello, fellow white person. I was just listening to Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. What, what's the matter? Whatever is the matter? Or something why, do you, like that. why do you know so much about this fucking guy? Why do you know so much about him? <laughs> If it makes because feel unlike better, you, I respect we, Malcolm. They just cast you as a cream of wheat making servant who always sides with his rich white master no matter how insane he is. Damn, You're cream right. of wheat making right. servant? Right. God damn. There you go. That's right, you nit. You see, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. These good people are only as good as the world wants them to be. Because when the chips are down, <laughs> Hulk is not invited to the these cookout. civilized people will eat each other. Let's delve into this a little further by examining the works of Friedrich Nietzsche. Wait a minute. Why am I chit-chatting with you? You kidnapped two people. Yeah, I was wondering that myself. Where are they? <laughs> you can take nothing away from me. Where are they? Where are they? Hey, I'm making a coffee run. Do you guys want anything? No, I'm good. Do greens do sugars? Where are they? <laughs> it, it's okay. I'll tell you where they are. Both of them. Even though we've clearly established that there's no clocks in here. Oh, I'll rig it so that you can only reach one of them. Uh, James's trademark oh, yeah. scowl there uh, a couple seconds ago. 
What what he made doing, you this way? What what made doing you? That, he was doing the AVG in frown. <laughs> okay. Anyways, anyways, I'll just ignore what you just said to me right now. Um, people are asking if you have a crush on Malcolm. Do you have a crush on Malcolm? What? Do I have to have a crush on somebody in order to respect them? Jeez, I thought this was the 21st century. Yes, you do. You have to... A woman can't respect a man without... <laughs> Never mind. No, no, keep going. Keep going. Keep spitting. You were, you were saying some shit there. Keep going. I was saying, like... <laughs> Yeah, go, go. I, just, I don't have a crush on Malcolm, okay? I'm not I'm not like into furries. I'm not I'm not a furry. I'm not I just respect him, okay? I respect him as an actor, as a loyal <laughs> friend. <laughs> she a simp. They calling you a simp. They calling you out, Mimi. You you big something. Oh, yeah, I'm she... simping in a platonic way. You're so sure only I'll reach one of them. She not the cops. She I still have a GPS. It accounts for traffic and even updates the street names. So, which one are you going for? Rachel. Really? Who cares if the only hope for Gotham is about to be burned? I want Nookie! Yeah, Malcolm Safari, so Green Apple. Wait, I just thought of a really funny joke. I just thought of a really funny joke. Pause right. the video so I can right. say it. All right, say the joke. It, 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 it's not like I like I like Malcolm or, or anything. Baka. That was that was my joke. Was it funny? <sighs> Shit, man. Chat, don't worry. I'm gonna get depressed and on soon. Don't worry. Don't it's not worry. Like I don't like worry. him. He's just he's just part of a cool web show that I watch. <laughs> Baka. Yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna get a different guest. It's okay. It's okay, chat. Well, it looks like this is the end. I really enjoyed our time together, Harvey Billy D. Williams Dent. Don't worry, my dear. I'm a man of <laughs> few words. So that what you think of this new character? So what, Malcolm doing a bad Billy D. Williams impression? Yeah, this is he, his, yeah, well, okay, he, this is his best impression so far, and it's still think, terrible. This is why all his impressions suck in this video. He had to do he had to learn so many in such a short span of time, and you're you just can't appreciate that. You're too hard on him. Nah, this nigga sucks, man. Interactions. When we kick down the door. Shed the light of the law on that nest of vipers. Is it wrong to say that even though we're about to die, your voice just made me orgasm right now? If it is, I don't want to be right. <laughs> Batman! What? Batman! Oh, for crying out loud! Really? You saved him instead of me? It's not what you think, honey. No, I got it. Clearly, he means more to you than me. No, no, I swear that's not it. Always business first. I understand. Hey, Harvey, you want to know who Batman truly is? You don't hear that. He's very rich, man. No, 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 no. He's probably the only man in Gotham who can afford to be Batman. No, 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 no,
<laughs> We're not. Like, <laughs> you mean that? You mean this? No, no, no. Just watch it. All right. We're not doing the super villain shuffle. I am Rosa Ghoul, and I'm here to say no inflection in your voice is A-OK. -okay. With the leak of shadows, I'll make Gotham fall. I have several identities, all of them doll. I am Harvey Dent, and my face is bent. My evil motivation makes little sense. I was a nice guy, but now I'm deranged. Determining my future on the back of change. My attitude can turn on the flip of a dime. Boy, I tell you, this deal's getting worse all the time. Dog, this nigga so offbeat. Ah, oh, light skin behavior, man. This nigga couldn't even get on beat. Light skin behavior. I am Dr. Crane, totally insane, and I only have a. That's crazy that, that Doug is more on beat than Malcolm. Light skin behavior. A few lines in the movie, so next. Now, this is a story all of. What do you mean? What? I'm saying, why, why is it so crazy that Doug is uh, on beat more than Malcolm? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that a Caucasian man who has no rapping experience whatsoever is more on beat than an African-American man who should have some sort of information, aptitude, or history with hip-hop music just by the nature of him being black. Well, D Doug may not be a rapper, but he is a, he is a trained singer. This bitch is simp chat! about how my frown got flipped turned upside down and i'd like to take a minute don't go too far i'm gonna tell you a little story about how i got these cars yeah so do you think that's why I dug, my daddy was a drinker my wife she liked to gamble what what i mean this is doug this is doug dubbing over malcolm here huh? yeah <laughs> do you yeah think that's why yeah. he did it yes yes because doug doug knew that malcolm was trash singer Chat saying you hit that G really hard on singer. Why is chat why is uh, chat bullying sorry? Mimi? Yeah. Mimi Mimi's a lovely lady, and you guys shouldn't scrutinize her so much. Even though she is a big Malcolm simp. I'm not a big Malcolm simp. I just think you're being too hard on him. Why? Why? He sucks. He's bad at acting. He's stupid. He's got a peanut head. What are you talking about? What are you talking Look. about? Okay, I under... How do I say this? I want to be a good... I want to be a good ally. I want to defend... I want to defend your people where, whenever I my have the people, chance to. My people? I am... I am criticizing my people. What are you talking about? <laughs> Well, yeah, that's, I mean, you have a lot of internalized self-hatred. I'm working on that. You're not. Oh, you, you are a straight buffoon. I, did, I didn't want to play that card. I didn't want to play the race card, but you kept harping on the point. <laughs> <laughs> I had no choice. My daddy was a drinker. My wife, Her, she liked to gamble. My dog's a plastic singer. surgeon. Please stop me if I ramble. My plans are so detailed as I can see into the future. I'm a ball-busting, fat-bashing, gangster money moocher. Word. Yeah, that's crazy that Doug dubbed in on that shit. Wait, Doug, Doug knew it's like, yo, part. this dude is not good. All right. So, yeah. All right. We got we got changed up. We're we're watching a bit of uh, Linkara. Watching the Lightbringer. This is a classic. I've reacted it. I've reacted to this before. Mimi was like, you've reacted to this brains. People are going to be mad that you're reacting at it again. No, it's context, girl. It's context. You and I are going to talk about this. Don't this is a conversation. Worry, brains. I understand context. Okay, that's good. Uh, it's been that's a while since the last history of me. I know. <laughs> Power Rangers. As such, I need to address a couple of things that have cropped up. Yes, I'm aware of the David Yost interview. You Yes, Moss Room, I am going to take that because I hate them niggers. Yes, I'm aware of Power Rangers this, Samurai this is coming to Nickelodeon in 2011. Of of yes, I will. One of his History of Power Rangers retrospective videos, he put this in the beginning. This was not like a separate video originally. Yes. But it got memed on a lot as one. Yeah, because like Rocco from Mega64 did that parody as well, too. Like. 
Yeah. Right, rightfully so. This is a ludicrous video. We'll continue to do History of Power Rangers through that series once it concludes. Now, many of you have been very patient in exactly. waiting for these videos, and for that, I'm very grateful. Others of you have not been so patient to the point where I'm actually taking time out of this review to talk about it. Let me say this once again, <laughs> since apparently... Oh man, he's so going in on this shit. It'll be out when it's out. Let me say this once again. Well, the funny thing is, I don't think he, I'm not sure if he says it'll be out when it's out in this video. What he says is history of Power Rangers. He says the next history of Power Rangers episodes will be done when they're done. I think is what he actually says, but it's close enough. You're you. <laughs> That's such a minute detail. <laughs> Apparently, it was not made clear when this video series began. History of Power Rangers has no set schedule. The videos are done when they're he done so cool. and will be they're released when they're done. In case you haven't noticed, I've been more than a little busy the last few months. If you haven't noticed, wake up already! Wake up wake already! Up, Look, I had to. I had to move, okay? That was really hard. I had to put things in boxes and then take them out of boxes. I attended Power Morphicon, Falcon, did a very complicated ending to an episode of Atop the Fourth Wall. Really this guy is straight up <laughs> saying I went to two conventions, made a video, and moved. <laughs> Wow, man. Okay, wow. <laughs> People are saying, uh, yeah, Mossroom said, Mimi, quote, um, actually, that's you. That's you. <laughs> it's you. You're um, actually... actually. I don't think I've said that a single time <laughs> in this live stream so far. <laughs> so, actually, you're a leg beard. You're a complete wrong. leg beard. At least additional videos in October beyond my regular workload did my regular workload, which consists of an episode of Atop the Fourth Wall every week Not despite conventions here, and other natural. difficulties. One of those difficulties being moving into an apartment. That's that's one of my favorite moments in this is I'm going moving to an apartment. One of the easiest fucking things you can do. Pack five boxes, dog. Like, come on. Whack. Whack. Are you going to tell me why Linkara's moving was quite difficult, Mimi? Well, see, here's the thing. Here's this context a lot of, <laughs> a lot of you, you Zoomers probably don't understand about this video, is that, Talk that the shit, concept girl. of doing, the concept of doing like a big retrospective like this, going over the whole history of a TV show and analyzing it, there are a lot of people who do that kind of thing on the internet now, but it was not that common when Linkar was doing it. He was, it was still, it was still, he was still <laughs> pioneering. <laughs> why, why, are you, why are you such an apologist for these guys? <laughs> It's fucking killing me, man. Why are because you such an apologist? Tired, I get tired of all these ungrateful, uncultured young people. Mm -hmm. Not understanding what made them great and revolutionary. They don't understand that the, the, see, they, it's like you watch, oh, you watch Ralph the Movie Maker make fun of Nostalgia Critic. Well, guess what? Nostalgia Critic laid the groundwork for people like Ralph the Movie Maker. They wouldn't exist without him. Big Lad Studios is calling this out. You know what would be badass? If the stream was advertised as a nostalgia critic, that guy with the glass stream, and was literally anything else, that would be a real liar reveal plot right there. Yeah. Look, look, I... Doug, okay. Walker would hate, Doug Walker would hate that even more than us making fun of them because the liar revealed plot is one of his least favorite cliches of all time. In fact, in his video of top oh, 10 most hated up. cliches, shut he put it at number two, which is very, I think, I think he put it at like number two or three, which is very high and he complains chat, about it in chat, this girl, all the time. Chad, this girl's such a goddamn Melvin. She put together He's fucking, much... no, enough. <laughs> Enough. Doug would, Doug would Enough. much rather be Enough. made fun of than stop. be part of stop, a liar reveal stop. plot. Stop. 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 Damn. <laughs>
In addition to that, people don't seem to realize how much work actually goes into these videos. Here's the process. I watch the entire series, which for those of you at home is around 40 episodes at 20 minutes each. That's roughly 13 hours straight if I was watching them all in one day, which I'm not. Oh, but it gets better, because I also am writing up a synopsis of the important plot points of the season, as well as writing down Dog. All right, chat. Post nerd emojis. Post nerd emojis for Mimi. People are calling you the nerd emoji. Character notes, themes, etc., etc., which means I'm, I'm pausing the, I'm, the episode. I'm the happy. I'm a happy YouTube movie reviewer nerd. I'm a nerd about um nerdy YouTube movie reviewers, and um I'm happy about it. God, I wish I could push you down a set of stairs that spiraled. So, so I can write. I Once the season is completed, I have spiral stairs too, brains. But sadly, we live in we live worlds apart. Yeah, someday, someday. I'd give anything to know my bestest internet friend in person. <laughs> I, I like I genuinely felt my brow furrow when you kept on doing that voice. Let me see those nerd emojis. Did, did chat. you feel your finish. brows hold high? I, my brow was held low because I'm quite upset. My notes and analysis and then I watch the next season and repeat the process. Yes, I had to finish watching Ninja Storm before I recorded the Wild Force review. Why? So I don't let my immediate feelings about it be the ones that I write. I give it time to settle and see how much of it is memorable. It helps the analysis and judgment of the series. And on top of all of that, I then have to record it and edit it all down to a few videos for your consumption. This nigga's such a cornball, man. Like, yes, editing's annoying. You chose to do this. You chose to pick this life, man. You chose well, is, to you have do to this shit. You have to understand that, like Doug, Linkar operates... His normal Atop the Fourth Wall videos operate on a strict schedule, where he has to make one every week. So when you understand that, it, it gives a little perspective, because he's just complaining about having to do, like, extra work on top of that. That is a self-imposed restriction. He can change it whenever he fucking feels like it. I will say, seeing the Jetix logo show up in the bottom left corner is making me very nostalgic. I miss Jetix too. Assumption. And oh yes, I, I need to also have, have my own life outside of it. So when will the next Jetix. History of Power Rangers be out? When it's done. I'm sorry if I'm coming across as ungrateful or needlessly angry, since I'm not. I love that you all care about this series, and I'm doing everything in my power to get it done. But it's oh, not easy, and you. it doesn't happen overnight. Thanks, Asking me when the next one is going to come is not making it get done any faster. I have warned you all <laughs> before that I'm in unfamiliar territory now, and it's... I have warned you. I've warned you. <laughs> <laughs> the chat is so split on Mimi supremacy, but it's okay. We're gonna get Mimi that cameo. It's gonna. It's. I'm. Honestly, she's gonna get that cameo, and next time you she's on should, stream, she's I, gonna be normal. She's gonna be a normal woman. You folks think I should start my own cameo service after I become rich and famous? What would you ask me to do? Oh, that's a can of worms. Chat, what would you, would you ask, ask Mimi me to, to do or say? wish all your loved ones a very happy birthday? Yeah, I, I assume they would ask you to would wish you, their loved ones a happy birthday. Would you ask me to comfort you after your pets die? What? <laughs> huh? It's harder for me to skip through stuff that because I've never seen before. And I appreciate offers of people to point out what's filler and what isn't, but I have to make that evaluation for myself. And please, please, please avoid spoilers or telling me, skip this season, it sucks. It's history of- Ostrom says that uh, he would want Understood, you to- Understood, Lewis. I, I won't tell you to skip anything. Ostrom says that he would have you fart in mic. I I, girls don't fart. Yeah, yeah, Master. Girls I'm not, don't fart. I'm not, I'm not physically able to do that. Didn't your dad ever teach you anything? <laughs> Goodly draws with 499. Brains must be entertaining the autistic kids with this stream. Also, I give e Malcolm <laughs> the pass for whatever he did to make brains like this. 
<laughs> All right. Thank you, Goodly. History of Power Rangers. Not history of Power Rangers, except for this season or this season. Every season will be watched, everything evaluated, everything will be do? given a fair chat chat come on what what's mimi gonna do i know you got better ideas than that chance to impress or disappoint like i said i haven't watched these seasons before and i want the chance to be surprised by things that happen stop telling me what's going to happen you're only going to piss me off the thing is i want to have fun while i'm doing this, is this man? constantly badgering me for the next videos does not equal fun it makes it a chore for me, and if it becomes a chore for me, I will be disinclined to work on it. And with all of that said, let's get to Wild Force already. Oh man, classic. All right, so before we wrap up, we gotta listen to a bit of the Harvey Fine Voice Christmas album. <laughs> so yes, yes, I, I tell us tell us who Harvey Fine Voice is, Mimi. Well, in Linkara's lore, in his videos, he he would do these some sketches with this character named Harvey Finevoice, who's like a like a lounge singer, like a crooner. You know, he's the he's the Tony Clifton of the uh, Linkara universe, if you will. And Harvey Finevoice became a part of his storyline segments, right? And eventually got his own character arc, where it turns out. That he only hangs around Linkara because Linkara and calls him kid because Linkara reminds him of his son who tragically died. And he gets more development in the movie. Like Linkara really cared about this side character and he gave him his own official Christmas album. Where Lewis Lovehog croons the Christmas classics just for you. Well, I'm very happy to see my homie Club Doom in the chat because we're about to listen to some goddamn music. <laughs> In this wonderful white world of winter. On. This <laughs> nigga trash, man. Uh, Amethyst Rose with 199. Mimi, I loved your Rouge the Bat voice. Aw, thank you. Well, there you go, Amethyst Rose. Mimi's very happy. You're, you're... I'm gonna let you know this, Amethyst Rose. You're the only gem I care about, even though I don't know you very well. I love <laughs> you anyway. What a, what a wonderful lady you are, Mimi. Yeah, this this pure ass. God damn. Uh, I will say it always was me. wrong to listen to Christmas songs out of season, but for Lewis, I'll make a special exception. And I will say this, Brains. Uh, mm -hmm. You're being way too hard on him. You have Stop to understand. It. He's, he's doing no, a character no. voice. He's trying to no. sing in character no. as Harvey Fine voice. It's not going to be perfect. People, people have it's done really it all the time. It's really hard to sing and do a character voice at the same time, people okay? Are, people have done it all the time. If he... If he didn't want to do this, he wouldn't have done it. He'll have a wonderful time. First we'll ride side by side through the hinter. And round the way to the sleigh bells merry chime. Then we'll ski fancy free down. Yeah, this straight up got my, my fucking balls receding into my body. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Let's go, we come a wassailing among the leaves so green. <laughs> oh, this is fucking killing me. This is killing me. All right, let's skip ahead a bit. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new why was he so committed to this stupid character? All right, chat, chat. What song are he we doing next? About, he care, He cares about every side character. Every every side character he creates for a one-off sketch, he gives development to. 
as it's or he or he 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 brings him back he's he's a lot like a it's a lot like you know how in one piece right there are no minor characters everybody comes back nobody is forgotten linkara is like that with harvey fine voice 90s kid boffo the clown ninja style dancer everybody gets a chance to shine why do you fucking know so much about these people all right chat what what song are we listening to next are we listening to good king wentzless yeah let's let's do that Winchestless. Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even. Brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel. They're saying that you're Linkara's type. What's that's that true, supposed to mean? I think they're saying you have a penis. Um, Linkara is currently married to a a beautiful BBW of color who, as far as I'm aware, is not trans. <laughs> when a poor man came inside. He is very offbeat. He is very offbeat. Why these? Okay. For for the couple of music people in chat, why do these people do all this shit in one take? You can you can do multiple takes. It takes a year to make an album, typically, if not multiple years. Like, you can do multiple takes. Come on, man. Well, you it's see, not an you iron see, in, in, in the late. <laughs> In the Les Miserables review, Linkara makes some commentary on how everybody everybody freaked for Anne Hathaway's performance, and he's like, she's saying the whole song in one take, like that's some impressive feat Broadway singers do that daily. And so maybe he's trying to prove a point by showing that he, he is as good as a Broadway singer, that he can do everything in one take. Great Iron List, the Great Iron List chat. Oh. You know, if we talk about Linkara enough, Link, um, Iron Liz will probably come in here and try to schmooze up with us and be friends, but we must reject her temptation. Oh, yeah, that sounds horrible. Mimi, Dr. Negus be wild and asking, are you a Fuda? I think that's that's a very personal question. Um, well, first of all, I think you have to have breasts to be a Fuda. I don't have those. I don't have breasts. Never mind. That was a bad joke. I saw um, your I saw your your breasts in the still. What are you talking about? Let me move up the still. Look at her. She's got breasts. What? No, my po <laughs> They're right there. Everyone can see them. Thank can can I let you in on a secret? Please. They're fake. Mimi. It's I I drew them. It's not a real photo. Mimi. I'm sorry, Mimi. I'm abandoning this joke, but my point is uh asking asking a girl if she's a Fuda or not is a very is a very personal question that uh, should only be asked uh unprovoked in DMs, not in a public setting like this. All right, I'll ask you later. <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to like, back to everybody. It's, oh. it's, I, I, going to a woman. I'm giving DMs you an out. I'm her, giving you an out. <laughs> ask, ask, asking her with no provocation if she's a fuda. That's totally fine. That's very polite. You'll get a lot of respect that way. But asking in public is a is is not so polite. I'll ask you quite privately. There's no angel did say was to search. Don't say I didn't try to give you an out. I gave you an out. Birds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay are keeping their sheep. I love his, his swag. 
love a smirk on the album art there. Yeah, he's very smart. I love that stare. I love that staring at me while I'm listening to him. They looked up and saw. Chat, what are we thinking about this? Shining in the east beyond them far. And it's to great pageant court. Where's Esmeralda? Uh, Esma said that, that she just wasn't very into nostalgia critic stuff. So yeah, you'll no. you'll be quite shocked at the lack of feet jokes in the chat. But yeah, Esmeralda said... I will said, say, if you, if, if you want to see a real Channel Awesome uh, Christmas song, you gotta check out Nostalgia Critic's fucking love Christmas music video. That one's a classic. This, not so much. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there, because we're probably going to do a follow-up. Um, let's do Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, and then I think we're going to wrap up. Oh, it's over, Lewis. Okay, it's over. This nigga sucks, man. He's not an all right singer. He is not an all right singer. He is a below average singer. Um, I respect the passion, I guess, but no, he's not good at all. Mimi, thoughts? Am I being too harsh? Am I saying too well, many I harsh words? So. I don't. I don't. I don't think singing is one of his main talents, but he's play. He. Pl I, I'm glad that he made this just because he. I wouldn't want somebody else to sing the Harvey Fine Voice Christmas album because Lewis plays the character, so it's authentic. Mimi, he has a he has a band camp and two albums. If he didn't want to do this, he wouldn't do it. Um, a voice from the dark is an audio drama. It's ah, music. all right, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. <laughs> We're wrapping the fuck up. Let me let me let me move us. There you are. There you are. All right, Mimi. What do you gotta say? What do you gotta say to the people? Well, I'm really thankful that Brains gave me the chance to talk about uh all all of these wonderful internet personalities and some of their uh, <laughs> some of their more interesting work from over the years. Yeah. There is so much more we can get into, so I hope we do this uh, every week. Maybe maybe within a year we can get through everything of interest. Oh yeah, that's that's not fucking happening, Mimi, but thank you, you so all, much. If you all if you all if you all want future uh, collaborations between me and Brains uh, discussing nostalgia critic videos. <laughs> God. Another channel awesome content. Please make your voice heard. If you if you don't want that, um, maybe I'll start doing it on my own channel and I'll outperform brains in terms of views and subscribers. That's absolutely and he'll come crawling That's not back to me and begging me to happen. do another channel awesome stream with him. I, oh, Mimi, please, I'm on my knees. Mimi, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I let you go, Mimi. I'm sorry. Fine. I guess I'll collaborate with you again. Not Sundere Mimi. All right. As as for myself, thank you so much for being a part of this. Um, not often that we have to do like uh, early in the week stream like this, but Mimi's schedule is pretty tight, so I'm glad we were able to do this. Uh, she did a wonderful job. We're getting her that cameo, everyone. Thank you so much to oh, everyone who contributed. Friends. Of course, of course. Yeah, thank you to everyone who contributed. I can't wait to hear Doug tell me what a wonderful job I did. Well, you gotta tell me what he's gonna say. That's on you. You gotta, you gotta come up with what he's gonna say to you. I'll put a lot of thought into it. I'll try to, I'll try to have it occupy my intrusive thoughts over the next few days until I get it perfect. Fair enough. All right. Well, we motherfucking out. Peace, peace, peace. Y'all have a good night. Bye bye. Bye.